I'm streaming on Twitch. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to like clip that. Oh, damn it. That's silly. Um, okay, is it working? Is it working now? Okay, it's working now. Brilliant. Good stuff. Um, oopsie daisies. I accidentally started streaming on Twitch instead of YouTube. Um, and so that's what that is. I will be doing a Twitch stream later today as well. I'm trying to perfect Beat Saber. Um, the song Beat Saber in Beat Saber um, and so that's what that thing is for um, oh, welcome Hello to the wonderful <laughs> world of oops <laughs> yeah so that's uh, that going this is, this is just my thing on my Twitch okay um, yes welcome aboard to today's stream uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my stream the stream chat Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so this stream is specifically designed for people to be able to ask questions. Um, yes, my, my facial hair, it's all gone. Um, that was because of uh, the weekend, last weekend. I had a, I had an acting part that required me to have no facial hair, so there's that. <laughs> I don't like it, but everyone else likes it, and I'm like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Hello there, Raven One X. It's good to see ya. Oh boy. I kind of just want to clip that on Twitch. One little segment at the end where I'm like, why isn't it working? Um, that's how much data I need to be sending out. Six thousand as opposed to sixteen hundred. That's why my Twitch stream is so shitty. Um, well, oh, welcome. Oh, Hello oh, to the wonderful <laughs> world of oops. <laughs> uh, is it running? Am I? Oh crap, I'm, I'm streaming on Twitch. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> like the last si seven seconds. Uh, is it running? Oops. Is it running? I'm just gonna call this one Oops. Oh crap, I'm, I'm streaming on Twitch. Oopsie. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Uh, is it running? I've I've clipped the thing on on Twitch. Oh crap! I'm, I'm um, streaming on Twitch. Oopsie. Turn my mic up. Oh okay. I'm at I'm at like the. Oh, well, I'm also not facing the mics over here. So maybe if I. Maybe if I just speak a little bit closer to the mic, it might be a little bit louder. All right, that's that's enough of that. Oh, oh, no, stop that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, it is It is good. I wonder how, actually, I wonder how, um, uh, like, how quick the, uh, the delay is. Because I put it on ultra low latency. Let's have a look at how long it takes for a thing to happen. So if I just, if I just do this. Let's have a look at how long it takes for a thing to happen. So if I just, if I just do this. About six seconds. That's that is that is pretty dang low latency right there. That's amazing. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Ah, okay. Um. Let's have a look. See. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here. The mic. The mic auxiliary. Auxiliary mic. Um. So it's like it's hanging out in the yellow section. Currently, it's just hanging out, um, just at the, when the green happens. <laughs> just at the maximum of the green. So I'm like, that seems like a comfortable place. Um, but, yeah, nah, it's, 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 it's all good. Okay, so, yeah, so, um, if you are here, uh, go ahead and ask a question, and I will, 
I will, I will, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll answer it. Why not? Ask a question about SFM or other. Okay. Kaboom. Yeah. And if I get no questions, well then, I just cry. <laughs> yeah. So that's all good. Got it on le Oh, actually, ooh. Should I? I wonder if I should actually also stream, like, if, if Derpy, Derpy Brew will actually allow me to stream on here too. I'll just say that I'm streaming. So if I sign into Le Derpy, Le Derp Live. How do I say that I am live? Uh, send a private. Oh. Oh, I need to be doing it on Picarto. Picarto. So that's it's not gonna work for me. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't working, my son. Cool. So yeah. Um. No worries. Go ahead and get some supple. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was meant to be supper or supplies. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, um, whilst there are no questions, uh, I will go ahead and just keep animating this this young thing over here. Okay, so something that I don't do, which you definitely should do as an animator, is block out motion. I don't do that because I'm a dingus. I wasn't actually professionally trained as an animator. Um, and it's in the blocking phase when you gotta like, um, uh, yeah, it's in the blocking phase when you have to exactly identify where your character's gonna be essentially. And I didn't do that. And you have to try and you have to block everything at once. And this character here, my good old vinyl, is not moving at all whilst she's got like a first pass animation on her. Um, and that's not good news. Uh, because I don't know, it's just not good news, so So we can see that. Okay, so... Cameras. Let's have a look at the camera motion here. So... I feel like this should be like here. So it's a little bit less of a camera move. Um, and this should still move, like rotate around the camera a bit. This one, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna, actually I'm gonna delete these camera motions. I'm gonna start again. Okay, so I'm gonna have them Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have them here for now, right? About here. Move it like that. Move to about here. Because the next shot, I know, what would be my last meal? I think I'm going to have to be cheeky and say a buffet. Because that can technically never end. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'd like to have an all-you-can-eat Vegas buffet. Um, and just never finish eating. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> of course, it, it, like, there's honestly, like, there's the, um, the chance of it not being, like, accepted, I guess. 
the request being denied. Oh, oh that has to be like this. This has to be like this. Oh, I don't like that arm elbow here, but I'll have to... They're slowly getting to the rule of thirds here. <laughs> It'd be until the place closes for the night. Yeah, I reckon that would be the case, yeah. Uh, like this. This needs to come a little bit quicker. This needs to turn a bit more. This needs to... This needs to like come around to like here. Almost like side on. But I lose, I lose a lot of that, like the, the back and the, the, the Z, Z direction motion if I'm looking from this angle. Um, the only reason why I wanna get it further and further to the left, the camera further and further to the left, because like I can't break the 180 rule. I can't turn the camera more than 180 degrees. Um, so, Unless, of course, okay, so, I can, because I, because I can sort of do it, put it here, right. Because I can sort of do this. Can't, can I break the flow of motion and zoom in this way? I don't know, mate. Because I could, I could probably like uh, be zoomed out here. Because I can sort of do it this way, right? That here, this here, that here, and then... And this can come this way. So we can still get the, the left and right motion of her bootay here. Um, Ooh, and then, then I can zoom up on her face. I can sort of come, okay. I can go like this. I can, I can come over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have a vinyl in that shot. I'm gonna have it like this because then my neck, Because the next shot I want to have is, um, so if I just if I just quickly do that real quick, the next shot I want to have. Uh, hello, Barry. Welcome back. 
The next shot I want to have is like facing vinyl and then you're such a sweet young thing, why do you do this to yourself? And then after that point, um, I'm gonna let's let's actually use the blog and blocking motions here. So, so, there we go. Um, and then I'm gonna have the camera facing here, where you'll find you'll you'll see. Sorry, it's gonna it's gonna zoom back, and you'll see both Ruby and Barry, uh, Ruby and Vinyl in the same shot here. And then this is when the um stuff happens and it's going to be facing towards Ruby here because Ruby's going to turn around and look at vinyl uh, when she says it looked at me um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera like pan around vinyl uh, pan around Ruby um, in like a fixed a fixed distance right I'm going to pan around Ruby um, and hopefully I'm going to be able to do that thing where like the background changes behind her because I kind of like that aesthetic a lot. Uh, <clears throat> and we're going to see how that's going to happen. I know, I imagine I know how I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, because all I'd need to do is make sure the camera motion is exactly the same and switch between a couple different scene builds of the thing that I'm thinking of what's going to happen. Um... Because I want to have Ruby's backstory in the background. Hey, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind um, people from uh, other countries. Argentina. Um, Argentina. Is that the Argentina I'm thinking of? <laughs> is there a different Argentina? My brain is dumb. Because it's um. Is it a Spanish-speaking country? Argentina. Because I know there's a, a there's a, there is a Spanish pe speaking country that begins with A. I'm not sure if it's Argentina. I'm dumb. I am a dummy. Why am I focusing on this question? Argentina, <laughs> South America official con uh, language Spanish. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Doi. <laughs> uh, I'm a dingy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Uh, uh, porque mi profesor de España, um, uh, does Toro Dice work? Mi profesora de España, uh, Toro Dice. Um, que Argentina <laughs> es uh, una, I forgot the word for country, because <laughs> um, I know Hispano, is, 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 is Espanol hablante, I can't remember my bloody Spanish at all. Base, base, right? It's base. Una base español hablante. Y um. Uh. Crap. Donde es where? <laughs> que is what? Por qué is why? And then when? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo aprendí español por dos años, pero no puedo recordar la mayoría de mis clases en español. <laughs> Except for that one sentence. <laughs> That's the only sentence I can say with any sort of confidence. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so that's that's the basics of what's happening next. Uh, if you do have a question about SFM, by the way. Um, by all means ask it, I will answer it, I will try to do my best, the best of my abilities to do so, 
Um, and that's because that's that's the idea of this stream here. It's about it's about asking a question um, and me answering it. So there you go. I'm gonna change that to Twilight because I like the Twilight better. That's yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, uh, me professor, uh, crap. <laughs> um, damn. Well, she would focus. She she would focus hardcore on our pronunciation, especially when it's like, um, when like I'm sitting in the in class and I hear someone say. Um, uh, yo tango, because <laughs> like you got that Aussie accent, yo tango, uh, bainty uno años, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yo, tang yo tango, um, what's what's the S E. Nueve. Yeah, yo tango do the S in the web annuals and I'm like <sighs> What? <laughs> yo tengo veinte cuatro años And of course there's the difference between años and anos. It's always great. Um I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and of course, there's the 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 ja 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 ja. English ja ja ja, but Spanish is the ha ha ha. Ah. Um. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fix up the um focal. What is this? Focal distance. All nice, but not nice. Okay, um, but I'm doing quite well. Uh, I want to know how people in the audience are doing. How how is everyone? How's everyone traveling? Um, hopefully not by bus. Oh, that's the aperture. Dingus. No. <laughs> um, hopefully not by bus. Uh, because. At, at the moment, like public transport is always a good thing to, to support, um, but just not in this kind of day and age. Um, at the moment, uh, with, with fears about that sort of thing going around, um, with the, with the, what do they call it? The Backstreet Boys World Reunion Tour. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see what happens if I put this as blind. It doesn't look right. You see, the the camera's like so. If you want the motion to look good, you gotta use specific curves. <laughs> oh. Oh crap, I didn't even move that one that time. There we go, alright, cool. So I gotta make sure... So this one should probably come back a bit. Unless, unless this one comes up all the way over here from like from like vinyl's perspective almost. Uh, and then this one can come around this way.
Uh, and then this goes here. Although, I can fall into the trap of making the camera motions a bit too severe. Um, because like, one thing that you don't want to do, alright, one thing that you don't want to do with camera motions is change the rule of thirds intersection from one pan to the next. You really don't want to do that. You don't want to have, you don't want to have your focus object change its rule of thirds position. So currently, in this shot, the rule of thirds, the, the, the character is in the left rule of third line here. And that's that's where the focus is on here, this, this close up here. Um, but in the end of it, she's on the right side of the screen. And that kind of looks weird at the moment. Perfect, like, to me it looks a bit weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that to the left here. And that looks a little bit more, I guess, concise, I guess. There's also, there's also the argument between whether I keep her in the left side as well. But of course I need to have some motion because it's been established that that's what happens with the camera. Yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, that's all good. <laughs> um, again, just just saying my my um, every five minute reminder. If you do have any questions about SFM, you can go ahead and ask it, and I will answer it <laughs> as best I can. That's what that's what today is all about. If you have any burning questions, if you want to know how to get started, you can you can ask. Um, and we'll get on to it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on vinyl's motion now. So it's been established in the last scene. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get a rig on her. Go ahead and get that rig pony toe. Cool. She has dat rig. Rigcellent. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna try out the blocking blocking some things. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out blocking, to be honest, because I don't do that. And you should. You absolutely should block your character's emotions before you do anything with it. Hey, that's okay. No worries. Welcome aboard. <laughs> good day, Pixie. How's it going? I know you couldn't be here last week. It's good to see you here today. Um, so here, I want to have, I want, because like, vinyl was established that she was looking down and to the left, to, to this side, away from her. And I'm going to go ahead and get the eyes. Hang on a second! What the hell? That is in step to a light to be be dependent. Alright. Um that uniquely affects SFM, by the way. The fact that I've told it to be stepped and the key points weren't actually stepped. That uniquely affects SFM. No other animation pro uh, programs have an issue with the graph points being dumb. Um because SFM is primarily designed for the motion editor, um, not for the graph editor. But every other animation program in, in existence uses graph editor instead of the motion editor. So since the motion editor is a specific thing to SFM, um, these problems only affect SFM. So I want her to be eyes lower, lip lower. Um, I want her to have the same expression that she ended with in the previous scene here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab face bones, and essentially all of these except for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and just want, all right. <sighs> all right, cool. <laughs> Actually, I'm shift select a portion of time, 
and then copy that across. So, so here, paste. Go ahead and just that for everything. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, and I also want her to have that first motion there. Again, you can see that it, it's it like I copied and pasted it, but it didn't copy the stepped motion here. So that's something you have to remember when it comes to SFM. It's it's very finicky. Oh, alright, cool. And there's no reason for me to have two separate motions here. So in fact, I'm just gonna delete that keyframe. I feel like at this point, I'm gonna have vinyl look towards towards her. Like that. And again, I have to specifically tell SFM that I want spline tangents. In fact, this can sometimes happen if SFM has been open for too long. I guess like when this value down at the bottom right here, which you can't see because of my border, but if you look down at the bottom of the right, the bottom right, let me just get rid of this border for a sec. You see this value here that says game. Let's see. If my, yeah, here it is. The value here that says game. This is how long in seconds this program has been running um, or, or the, the game has been initialized or whatever. Um, and you can see it's been running for uh, 3,283 seconds. I'm not sure if that's the entire total of this, like this file itself, or if it's just um, it's just been opened since like since since opening SFM. Um, but yeah, if that number is too big, some funky things can happen. <laughs> The other number to worry about, of course, is your memory as well. If you run out of memory, SFM can crash. Um, that That's only really applicable when you're looking through your model library. Um, so be very mindful of that. So you see down here, my seconds is at zero. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna jump up to 3000 though, so, cause I don't, I don't know. Yep, it starts off at one. Amazing, three thousand seconds. What is that? What is what is three thousand seconds? Divided by sixty is fifty minutes. An hour. It's been open for an hour. Almost an hour. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, you can see. Um... <laughs> it's it's almost an hour, and you can see that it comes up here. Um, the FPS, of course, is just how quickly each frame is being rendered in SFM. Um, so, you know, that out of 60 doesn't really matter. If you're playing it, it just, it, like, you know, if it looks choppy, that's because, you know, the frames a second is not matching or greater than this number here, which is what you're supposed to be playing it at. Um, but this is not really a big deal in the animation side of things. Um, and of course, here's your memory. Right now, SFM is using 1.8 gigabytes. Um, Oh, dude, it's 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 such a long time. It, it's I'm not even half done. <laughs> I'm not even past halfway, dude. And you know, I I said before that it's likely that this bloody thing is going to take me two years to finish. That's not a joke. <laughs> like, uh, it's going to take a very long time for this, and I am I do want to finish it. Because it is kind of a passion project at this point. But dude, it's going to take a long time. 
And yes, cadet, if you do feel like you want to re-sing it, by all means. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not going to mess up the lip sync too much. It might do a little bit, but um, like honestly, it should be fine. Most, the most, the thing that's most likely going to happen is that I'm going to have to um, like move the key points around. Huh? I said it won't mess up the lip sync that bad. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, that's like what I'm saying. Twenty seconds in. Yeah, I'm. I'm twenty. Forty seconds. I'm about thirty seconds in. Thirty. Also, hi. Hi. Stream. Welcome, welcome <laughs> to the stream. Quill boy. Yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> It's good that you are here. Thank you. Yeah. Good the welcome. The warm welcome. Yeah. Welcomes yeah. are warm. Yeah. I do feel like you should block out some of the stuff first. Absolutely. One hundred million percent. Make sure that what you're doing is correct. Mm. And it's also just what I'm supposed to do as an animator. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like that's the that's the goal here. Yeah. 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 Almost, eh? Yep. But I see you're not doing that. Cause I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. <laughs> Quit being a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the song that I'm animating to is uh, "No Rest for the Wicked." Um, I was but, just about to point that message out. Yes. I'm yeah. glad you're on top of it. I am on top. I've got it on my second screen here, so I'm like... Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so... I feel like one of these streams, you should have, like, a power through one, where you don't look at the chat. Yeah. And it's just like... Ugh. Because, honestly, that helps me in some of the streams that I do. Uh-huh. Where I'm like, I need to get this project done. I'm going to just do this and do minimal talking. I've done that... Uh, I think for like three or four of my streams this year and I've gotten like five or six projects done because art <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay I'll, I'll, I'll give that a go at some point but it yeah. wouldn't necessarily I'm not saying do it right now yeah no it wouldn't, yeah, no, it wouldn't necessarily be a good idea for a stream yeah. about asking questions <laughs> yeah no see that's what I, I was like you should do that for the future of course yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understood that from um, what yeah. you were saying so it's all good yeah Message received. <laughs> Me and my heckin' fix it up Fridays over here. <laughs> <laughs> you heck. Because I'm gonna have Vinyl be looking at Ruby here. But I don't wanna. I don't, like, that kind of looks. That kind of looks angry at the moment because of the way her eyebrows are sitting. Um, she's like, ugh, really? Yeah. Like, that's what that expression yeah. says. So in order to make that expression not that expression, because like, look from this angle here, it looks a bit more like, oh, like sad. Um, yeah. because, Almost like worried. Yeah, very worried. That's that's what I'm looking for. Worried yeah. and alone. That's that's the idea that I'm trying to push here. And if I just, just move it slightly, there we go. I'm just going to turn it slightly. Boom! Suddenly, a hundred times more worried. <laughs> just slight Would rotation. You be able to to do the eyebrows later? I can, yeah, absolutely. But I'm just uh, <laughs> doing this as a point of, um, like, yeah. this is what, this is things that you have to keep in mind. And the other thing about the pony models is that the eyebrows aren't actually attached to the face. Um, and Which you might... is good. Yeah, yeah. It is good and it is bad. It has its drawbacks as well. Um, but the thing that you have to keep in mind is that the angle that it's at looks different depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, and so yeah, your the camera. the camera angle and the position of because like this looks a little bit too far forward in the camera here it looks it looks a tiny bit too far forward doesn't look that bad here but here it does kind of look a little bit too far forward to me um, so no, that's why I don't think so I'm gonna move it back slightly move it down and move it like this here and that's that looks a tiny little bit better to me yeah okay yeah. So that's that. Um, and of course, the other thing as well is that since she's looking up here, um, ba -ba, ba -ba -boo 
I need to make sure that the lids are up slightly and she's got a little bit more sadness in her eyes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so if I want to make her cry, then I do that. Just bring up her lower lid and suddenly she looks like she's about to cry. But she's not about to cry. She's still rather sad, so she's more tired than sad. So lid raise, stay down. Mm. Cheeks. Cheeks. Usually, usually that's for a happy expression here. This one here. The cheeks. Slightly. It really sells um, sad, though. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. It's just multiple different things that add together to um, bring out uh, the expression that you want to achieve. And when you can play around with it, it looks a lot nicer. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Hmm. Yeah. Flower is asleep on a box for a drawing tablet, by the way. Oh yeah, she's trying to outdo Did the um, ball Did of I? yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will outdo that ball of yarn. That was the cutest thing ever. Yeah. But she's she's just, you know, adjusting for step. Yeah. I feel like I need to bring vinyl a bit closer here. Because I want to make sure that the tail flick actually flicks her nose up here. There we are. Just like that. It makes it collide. Um, and it's not going to be too far forward. I just noticed that the sun changed slightly. Hello, Freddy417. How's it going? The sun changed slightly? Yeah, the sun. In real life? N no, in, in the animation, the sun changed position. Oh. If you look at okay. this one, that's where the, the sun is here. Was, yeah. Yeah. And then, boom, and then there it is here. So. Ah. Shadow angle. Well, that's that's fine. Yeah, it's fine, so long as it's in. It looks like the sun's moving. Like, yeah, you know, natural. <laughs> True, but uh, <laughs> it also it, like it also kind of gives off the effect of um, multiple different shots, I guess. Um, Not in a bad way. Yeah, no, like 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 this is actually being filmed, and so the sun actually changes position. Yep. Like you did like two takes before this, and yeah. we're like, ah, oh, crap, hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heckin' block stuff out, you heck. <laughs> I am. <laughs> heck. <laughs> How come we're still on this shot, you heck? <laughs> Be because it takes time. <laughs> <laughs> I had read something on the 11 Second Club, which, by the way, everyone who's watching should definitely go to 11, the number 11 second club .com, um, and have a look at that. It's a monthly competition that they get 11 seconds of audio, and any animator whatsoever animates to it, no matter what style you've got, no matter what, what, your, what your, your favorite thing to do is. Stop motion, claymation, 2D, 2D. Yep. yep there's Any the link. form of animation whatsoever. Yep, and it doesn't even need to be complete. There's a lot of like animation tests in the 11 Second Club, and that's perfectly fine. Um. So yeah. Um. And yeah, I highly recommend you go and have a look at the 11 Second Club. Um. And one thing that I had read on there was that um you shouldn't fall into the trap as a 3D animator to try and rush out your poses. Yep. So there, there's been stories of um, animators taking an hour on each pose, animators taking two to three hours on each pose. There are some actual poses. Um, if they're really, really important, some animators would spend an entire day on it. And this is just blocked out poses, not even like in actual animation, just the blocking out. So you shouldn't shouldn't feel like you should rush when it comes to animating at all even in 2d you don't don't feel like you need to rush take your time so here i'm gonna have her react to 
the um, Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the point here. So here, she's going to kind of like recoil from it slightly. Um, I still have the uh, six musicals stuck in my head. <laughs> well. It does straight up bop though. <laughs> it really do. Mm. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I uh I showed Belmont today. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? I think it was really good. He it's... thought it also bopped. Hell yeah. Which it totally does. Dude. It, it, the, the whole musical's only an hour and like 25 minutes yeah. at most. It has what? All of the skits. It has what? Eight songs? Eight songs. Yeah. yeah. Eight songs total in this musical. And I'm like, nice. <laughs> it's good stuff. Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. Oh, I like that facial position here. I like it too. Yeah. Nice work. And then I do kind of need to get vinyl out of the shot here, but I think I might do most of that with the um, camera. But to assist the camera, I can do this and just bring vinyl's head back. Cool. So we can see that the blocking is probably done here. And if you pay the right price, your evening will be nice and you can go and send me on my way. And you can see when when you need to do more motion um, than you really think, or well, more motion than usual, your blocked out frames would be a lot closer together. Like you can see here I've got two boom boom compared to like these three here where it's like one, two three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, so you can see that that's, that's really what you want to achieve with blocking motion, um, where it's like you've got the main points that you need, um, and then when you want to have more detail, that's when you add more blocks to it. And it's in those areas where you want more detail that you should be spending more effort getting the poses to look right. So yeah, that's all good. Uh, yeah. And if you pay the right price, your evening will be oh, um, her sad flex is too much. Yeah. There. And if you pay the right price, your evening will be nice and you can go and send me on my way. I said, you're such a silly young thing, why do you do this to yourself? I need to fix up that animation, that lip sync. Later. Oh yeah, of course, but I do need to fix it up. <laughs> okay, so one thing that happens when you block out is that you might find things that you don't really like, and um, one thing that, since I didn't block out Ruby here, something I don't really like is how she kind of like puts her head to straight away and then turns back. To me, that looks a little strange. Maybe? Maybe. Actually, if I delay her head going forward, maybe. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't know. When I say door, I mean door. Still. To this day. <laughs> yes. Maybe maybe if I just delete those two and then bring this forward here. Uh, get rid of that. There we go. Spline. Here we are. 
ba boom ba ba boo er. Oh yeah. I also think that her head just let me just bring this to come like that. I don't want to fall into the trap of making too much motion, you know? needs to be a little bit quicker. A little bit of iterative process here. So I'm going to move this here and move it there. There we go. It's like the difference of frames. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, this way. SFM, it's, I would say that SFM is probably baby's first 3D animation software, to be perfectly honest. To be perfectly honest, it is complex, but that's only because 3D animation software in general is complex. I would hazard a guess and say that Blender is even more difficult than SFM, or more complex that is than SFM, and then Maya is even more complex than Blender. But don't let that discourage you from it because all it is is it's essentially as complex as a blank canvas when you're trying to paint. You know, if you don't know um, what you're trying to achieve, if you don't know how to get to where you're tr where you're trying to go, you're trying to achieve. It's very intimidating, yes. Um, but as soon as you know, okay, um, well, I'm going to start off drawing the skeleton structure of the character that I want to draw. And then I'm going to learn anatomy so I get the muscles correct. And then you can do that spooky thing that Cadet does and immediately know how to do foreshortening. <laughs> so you can put everything in any position. Um, <laughs> um, but when but when you go through that sort of iterative process and then suddenly it's not complex anymore. It really isn't. It can become very dirt easy. Um, dirt easy. <laughs> it can be very dang easy to um, animate in your cho program of choice. It's the exact same thing that happened with me and SFM. It, between me opening SFM for the first time and me rendering my first animation, my, my terrible animation that was a spy sitting on a seat being sad because he lost. Like there wasn't any, just a spy, just a seat. And that, and like a motion of him doing this, just that took me about six months between opening SFM and rendering that first 10 second loop. Six months. So, <laughs> don't be discouraged when it comes to looking at something like SFM or Blender or Maya. Um, pick your weapon of choice and then just start going. L look at tutorials, look at, this is what, that's, that's what today is for. If you have any questions about SFM, if you're trying to start and you have a question like, for example, I don't know, um, what are these? You can ask that, um, like, what does, what does smooth mean? What does, what does playhead mean? Like, what, what, is, what does all of this mean? Um, I can try and give you a, um, a uh, like that's, I can try and give you an answer for those. Because um, I know what some of them do, but I don't know what all of them do. <laughs> like, I don't know what release does. I know what hold does. I don't know what stagger does. Um, I, I think I know what Pace does based off of its name, um, but anyway, uh, that's that's what that's what today is so trying to demystify the things that surround SFM. So if you want to give it a go, by all means, ask a question and I'll give it a go and, and try and answer it. Yeah. Also, hi, World in Madness. I don't think I've seen your name before. 
Windows 3D Movie Maker. I've never heard of that program before. Yes. Okay, cool. Groovy. Why is there two final scratches? What have I done? What? Dingus. Eh. Oh, this vinyl scratch is the base of the base. The all your base are belong to us. Oh, that's that's the end. Okay, that's the ending of um the previous thing. Okay, cool. Pretty sure I was supposed to animate on this one, but I animated on that one. But it's okay. I don't really care. You can see what blocking does for the characters here. Good. It's good. It's cult following online Windows 3D Movie Maker. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of it. And I, it, the fact that it's Windows 3D Movie Maker kind of scares me, so I don't think I will um, have a look at it. But if it's your weapon of choice, then by all means. Yes. Oh. Oh. Dude, my arms are killing me. My shoulders hurt. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I'm good. <laughs> uh, so I think I can just... It's fine. <laughs> and of course, this is the same thing. And you can see the difference, like, what I tried to do here. This was... Don't worry about that. Okay, so this was the um, quote unquote base motions I was doing. And you can see how that sort of turned into. She's bald! Alright, you can see how that sort of turned into this. But yeah, that's, that's that one. Oh! Ah, my back! Oh! Oof! Ow! Ouchie! <laughs> Uh. Ah. But yes, um, I don't think I actually finished answering the question from before, the what song are you animating? It's the original song is called No Rest for the Wicked by Cage the Elephant. It's the uh, same song that you find in the Borderlands 1 opening. Um, I have no plans of doing the Borderlands 2 opening, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I did do the Borderlands 2 opening, it'd be in a reference to um, a different animation that I plan on doing. So, yeah, that's that's that one. Because <laughs> I do kind of want to do an animation to um, uh, Big Iron by Marty Robbins, um, where it's a, it's an old western town and and Shining is the sheriff. Uh, see the ranger from Arizona. <laughs> And Big Red is, um, uh, Texas Red is, is Big Mac, of course. <laughs> I call him Big Red. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> um, I plan on doing that. Um, I don't know when. Definitely after this one. Sometime. But not immediately afterwards. I don't know what I'm going to do after this one. Probably cry. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm really driving with that tail flick now. I was not so certain about it before, but okay. So it really, it, the like the other characters' motions really add to this character's motions here. The actual it, acting is not about acting; it's about reacting. Oh, mate. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so this is Norris of the Wicked. 
uh, cover from with the vinyl vinyl cover from the lovely cadet red shirt who's in the call with me right now um, she mooted though so <laughs> um, but yeah so that's what it is uh, brain hurdy <laughs> Sleepy boy, very sleepy boy. Okay, so something I do want to do real quick. That, I want to get rid of that. That's disgusting. Okay, cool. Um, there's two ways I can get rid of it. I can either um, change her chest position to remove it, or I can change her finger position. Like that. I feel like I feel like changing that won't actually work. So what I need to do is change this part. Yeah, like that, and then bring this down like that. And then And then I'm gonna have to add a whole bunch of a whole bunch more um, uh, keyframes to make sure that it actually looks like she's walking instead of just floating. Um, but that is something that's gonna have to come later, not right now. That's when it's like at the refining motion stage. Yeah, because I want it to be as punchy as the other one. Hello, the commenter dragon. How is it cracker lacking? Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Sorry for <sighs> being gone for so long. That's okay. <laughs> I I'm went just... to go grab ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. That reminds me, I didn't have my ice cream yesterday, so I should probably have one now, eh? <laughs> you heck. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have golden gate times. <laughs> we do have golden gate times. <laughs> I, think I, I wonder if the English. Me. I wonder if England would have Golden Gay times. Uh, I don't know. Let me Google it. Yeah, because I know it's, oh, I know it's uh, an Australian thing. Golden and you know what they say: you can't have a gay time on your own. It's true. That's yeah. exactly what they say. Yeah, it's precisely what they say. Just as Australia. Oh, that's a shame. It's so good though. Yeah. It's so good it's though. True. Its name has survived intact, regardless or because of the possible homosexual connotations in modern <laughs> decades. <laughs> like it's called. Oh, I didn't know that. No huh? wonder I didn't see it in New Zealand. In huh? New Zealand, it's actually under the name Cookie Crumble. Oh. I was like, "Where's the freaking Golden Gay time? I need my ice cream fix." <laughs> <laughs> it's, we were there. it's really <laughs> good if you. You come to Australia, right? Oh. Anyone, anyone that's watching, if you come to Australia, Anybody, there's a few please. things that you need to try. Number one, it's Golden yeah. Gay Times. Solo. Oh. <laughs> Number two is Solo. Yeah. Number exactly. three is, I guess, Milo, but it does have a bit of a niche taste. I tried to bring it over, but like the milk was different in America, and it just didn't taste right. Yeah. Um, but that's that's Milo is another one. Um, Vegemite tastes the same no matter oh, where you go. <laughs> yeah. Marmite it's in the K. I'm so excited to try it. Yeah. Just to see. Just to see how. how close it is. Yeah, how different it is between Vegemite yeah. and Marmite. Because apparently yeah. Marmite's worse. Mmm. I don't know. That's just. I don't know if. Because I, I, I haven't actually tried it. It's only apparently. 
Yeah. It's probably because it's filled with um, British regret. <laughs> British regret. Oof. It's not actually. It's not actually a yeast extract. It's regret extract. <laughs> uh huh. Um, but yeah. That's what gives them their dry wit. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, they sh- extract all of their, all of their regret and embarrassment mm-hmm. into marmite. Onto a, a spreadable thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then set, pass it off as a, a food item, mm-hmm. so that people go there unwittingly to try it specifically. <laughs> And then they can get a taste of pure British cynicism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you understand. Yeah, honestly. Oh. I'm stretching my leg in. Oh, I need to sit down for a little bit. Ow. Do you have your phone on you? Um, I do. You should double check that. Double check what? Your phone. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've got my phone on me. <laughs> no, I meant messages. Oh. For oh. a quick halftime show. Phone. Did, did 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 you send me a message or? I did. Yeah. Yeah. And I see. <laughs> Because uh, I get, I get the, um, I still get the Discord sound notification, so I saw it. <laughs> so I was like, hmm. <laughs> 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 I recently we rewatched the uh, halftime show brought to you by Milo. <laughs> yes. What indeed. would um. Uh, if Milo was a person, yeah. would he have a nickname in Australia? No, would it be like, I don't think so. No, it'd just be Milo. We'd, we'd call him either Milo or Miles. Mm. One of the two. Mm. Milo, Miles. Because like it already has an O at the end of it. So like you can't really nicknameify that even further. Milo O. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't sure if you'd do the absolute drastic thing and go the opposite way, like Maz. Maz, uh... Mm-hmm. Well, not really, because, like, that'd be... Like, if your name was Maddie, we might call you Mazza. Madeline, mm-hmm. Mazza. Like, that makes sense to me. But Maya, uh-huh. you need to add that I in there somewhere, the my. Maza. Oi, Maza. Or something like that. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite um, nickname, you reckon? Damo. Damo? Damo. To Damien, Short yeah. for, like, Derek? Damien. Oh. Damien. Yeah. Derek. Derek. I think Would he get, be Desi? He'd get Deza, yeah. Deza? Deza. Because, um... Uh... Darren is Daza. Yeah. And then, um, if your name is, uh, if your name is, like, Bill, or Robert, Rob, Bob, if you're any of those names, you get Bazza. Bazza. Yeah, Bazza. Oh. <laughs> Bat with a B? Yeah, with a B. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Oh, my oh, man, back just hurts really so cool. much. <laughs> I need a massage. <laughs> Dang it, and I'm not there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go back to those people in the mall. <laughs> yeah, the ones that gave me massive bruises. Ugh. Yeah. Was it not fun? You ever been bruised on your muscle? Not a good show. You should come to America again. Yeah. Actually. Because you guys, like, the thing you go, massage envy, I think it is, right? I do. I do. Yeah. They're very good. <laughs> yeah. So, I have to Tell go me everything I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either that or I have to go to, like... Because, like, we went we went to a, um, like, a, a in-store kiosk-type situation. 
um, mm-hmm. probably a step up from a kiosk because it has its own like you know like if you walk into like a uh, I want to say a shop. like a shop yeah but it's like just it's just a massage parlor like it's just in, yeah. inside a mall um, yeah like it'd be if it it'd be even more like dingy if it was like in the middle of the aisle type situ- kiosk I'm all the way down here Hello. no those are. <laughs> Those are super great here in the U.S. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Um, where I live, we've got one in our mall, and then in Albuquerque, they've got like two or three places exactly like that. Mm. Mm. And they're they're really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see you waving. Yeah, I see. Hello. I was like, oh, it's like, can't even actually see me on the thing, but I'm sitting down. <laughs> oh wow. Um, my room's a mess. Look at that well. bed. You can see, mess, messy bed, messy bed. Uh huh. Look at that bed. Mess. Not good. You uh, should, uh, you should fix that bed. <laughs> sure, why not? Why we Go for anything? it. How do you fix a bed? How do you fix a bed? That's the current question. <laughs> <laughs> How do you fix a bed to not look like a slob? <laughs> <laughs> How to I'm just teasing you, I'm fix sorry. <laughs> a bed <laughs> so you don't look like a slob. There's- there's definitely, oh, I was going to say, there's definitely a wiki how. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were Googling it. No, no, I'm putting it <laughs> And then I saw you thingy. filling it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like, I also like it how, like, the question, like, live adds in as I'm typing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's actually, let's, let's legit, let's legit use a, um. wiki how? Wiki how. How to, to make your bed. <laughs> wiki how oh. i want the ones with illustrations sorry um, i just realized you're wearing the shirt yeah yeah i'm wearing the I'm um so glad. this one so the it's Eevee. very comfy most of the, the shirts Eevee that you gave shirt. me are incredibly comfy i'm so glad because <laughs> yeah. i had a ton of shirts and i was like do you want like 12 <laughs> there we go <laughs> There we go. I found it. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Okay, hang on. Um, I just gotta get the uh, where is it? Screen. Here we go. Okay. I found it. I found it. Here we are. <laughs> okay. Bed skirt. A bed skirt. A bed skirt. If you have a box spring. That's only if you have a box spring. You don't really have a box spring. No, I don't. Nor I don't. Nor cover the mattress with a mattress pad if you want to protect it. All right, all right. So hang on. All right. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna get. I can't hear anything now at the moment. I've taken. Oh ta- good. Taken my headphones. Now I have. You and guys. I don't have that wireless headphone privilege. Also, I got a new. I got a new. Um, Mum bought me a new. Doona, and so I may as well just put it in now. Mm. Um. <laughs> Get the sheets off. I should actually wash these sheets to be honest. My mattress is Very precious. secretly. It's it's an old mattress. Old, old mattress. Don't tell him I told you. Shh. He doesn't know it either. Don't tell him. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got a I've got a mattress topper. This thing. Look. Um, I, if you haven't had a mattress topper before in your life, I highly recommend you get one of these. <laughs> All it is is essentially just a layer of foam that sits on top of your mattress. And ah, uh, yeah! Yeah. And by God, oh, actually, fuck, I'm an idiot. I can just do this. Turn it on to max volume. And then, hello? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, so I can now hear you. Alright, cool. <laughs> hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to them secretly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and now I can hear it. You've been who's been talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny that you mentioned a mattress topper because mm-hmm. Belmont was like, um, so we've been to a lot of conventions together, right? Yeah, in Belmont. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of the really really great mattresses that some of the hotels have. And you've probably seen a lot of really really terrible mattresses, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah. We're not talking about those ones right yeah. now. <laughs> We're talking about the um, the high end like memory foam, uh, like like a g- 
good six inches of memory foam on the top. Yeah, the yeah, mattress, yeah. You know? Where you, you lay down and instantly fall asleep no matter what time of day it is. <laughs> yeah. You're like, well, I'm not getting up again. <laughs> yeah, you felt that, right? Yeah, yeah. You felt that feeling. So, like, that's the exact thing where it's like this thick uh, mattress topper. Um, but Belmont didn't know those existed. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, I was like, I kept telling him. I'm like, you need to get... Uh, a memory foam thing for your bed. Like, you need to get a memory foam thing because your back is messed up. Yeah. <laughs> like, he slips discs like nobody's business because he's so freaking tall. Yeah. His spine doesn't know how to hold itself together. You know? And he's like, ah, oh, but I've looked. Those mattresses are so expensive. And I was like, what are you talking about? Just buy a freaking mattress topper. And he's yeah. like, a what? And I'm like, okay. We're going to Walmart right now. <laughs> yeah. And we went to Walmart, and they were like $35. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. looking at it like, oh. <laughs> He's like, I was looking at like $800 mattresses. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, you can just buy a mattress topper for like 35 to 60 bucks, depending on what size of the mattress you get. Yeah, yeah. And he bought it. Put it on his bed that day, slept, and then I talked to him in the morning and was like, So how'd it so go? how was it? <laughs> yeah, how'd it go? And he's like, I don't remember when I passed out. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I can't remember what type of mattress topper this is. Um, I'm not sure if it's a memory foam. I don't know. Actually, there's a little thing here. A little taggy waggy. Uh, a taggy waggy. Dreams. I think your mattress is a full size mattress. Yeah. Oh, but it's it's really spongy foam. Like just just look at this for a second. Look 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 at this. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Look. Just just. Like. It's like it's very spongy. Spongy. It's very spongy. Um. It's nice. Um, and all it does is it just adds an extra layer of cushion between you and the mattress. But, like, the thing the thing that I love about it is that I don't like soft Move mattresses. your IP address is visible. Avast, how dare you? How dare you tell everyone my IP address? Why would you do this? <laughs> Jeez. Um, there were three stars in it. I saw. Three stars. <laughs> I'm located at one... 192.168.0. Star, star, star. That's the local IP address. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, I saw it. Everybody can hack. But yeah, um, so I don't. Reddit. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, so I don't. I don't like soft mattresses. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, pref I prefer the harder mattresses because it, I feel like it gives me a bit more support. Because um, I feel like I've got I've got very dense hip bones, and so if I've got a soft mattress, I kind of sleep like this, and it's like, uh, it, or, or, or like 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 it, it like slips in a bit too much, and it's just like ah ah ah, um, and it hurts a bit. So I prefer the firm I, mattresses. Yeah, I was gonna say I have a similar problem in the opposite way maybe yeah where, where you, you... Um, like i have very much of an arch in my back yeah like a really pronounced one in comparison to what my size is <laughs> <laughs> fair <I'm> like, huh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> it's, but when like... i lay down regularly i have like it, it's like high arch feet kind of situation yeah <laughs> yeah perfect. And I'm like, I only feel my shoulders and my my butt against the mattress. Yeah. And unless I have one of those soft things or I lay on my stomach, mm -hmm. then I don't have that problem. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the thing that I absolutely love is that these mattress toppers, they give you the comfort of a soft mattress but the support of a firm mattress. Because you still got your firm mattress underneath. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it doesn't take away from any of the structure, but, like, yeah, it just makes it, makes it better. All right, cool. So... I'm gonna go ahead and just put the, uh, is this, is this the skirt? 
Because what I like to call this is to me is a fitted sheet. No, a skirt is something else. Okay. The skirt covers the from right under the mattress to the floor. Um, okay. That's what that covers. It's literally a skirt. It's like you treat the fitted sheet as a shirt, and then whatever's underneath it is going to be the skirt covering underneath the mattress. Or the singlet, yeah. Okay, so that's so. So I need to <laughs> cover the mattress pad if you want to protect it. Got it. All right. Stretch the fitted sheet over the four corners of the mattress. Oh, I was already already on, on, like on it like I was on it guys absolutely yeah. on it so gonna go ahead and do my parkour to get around uh, oh look it's Harriet who dares <gasps> Harriet yes Harriet the Hedgehog I still have Henry yay yeah. who dares in, in, uh, Enter. It's probably Bob. Is it? Unless that, unless you're hearing things. Because I heard, I, I think I heard someone else in the, uh, the Discord. No, I didn't hear anybody else in the Discord. I thought you were talking about in your house. There's oh. no one else in the Discord. Oh. I sent you a image of Clara. Oh. So you probably heard the butter. Oh, that's, yeah, that's actually probably what I had, to be honest. <clears throat> Stretch the fitted sheet over the four corners of the mattress. Okay. Time to get the other one. Pull the fitted sheet taut so it lies smooth against the mattress. Make sure the elastic edges are tucked all the way under the mattress so that they don't ride up or come undone. If you have a tall mattress, like one with a pillow top, a deep fitted sheet will cover the mattress better. Cool. You can see. Burp. Um, I'm with a fitted sheet. However, have... you can also use a flat sheet. Yes. I have a yeah. bit of an issue with this sheet. I do need uh -oh. another, a new one because when I was putting this, taking this out of the dishwasher, the dishwasher, one day. <laughs> that um, might be a problem. <laughs> you can see there. It sort of caught on the um, the agitator in the washing machine, and yeah. it ripped itself. Oh. Yeah, the the mattress. Why are you still using it? The mattress ripped itself. I didn't rip it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, so that's good. I've done it. Stretch the fitted sheet. Um, center the flat sheet on the bed, lining up the top edge with the mattress. There should there be an should equal be amount of sheets, sheets hanging off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, it's all good. I think you have the better presenter voice, to be honest. <laughs> <sighs> I wasn't sure if I should read it like Australian Siri or regular Siri. <laughs> <laughs> what? I say, I say, go with the uh, go with Australia Siri. This is Australian, Australian stream. <laughs> Australian stream. Okay. There should be an equal amount of sheets hanging off each side of the bed. If one side is longer, gently pull the sheet on the shorter side to even them out. Check that the top edge of the sheet is still aligned with the top edge of the mattress. I was like, is this what? <laughs> after you made after you make any adjustments, if the sheet is crumpled or has creases from being folded, eye on the sheet before setting it on the bed. Wow. Put sheets that have a pattern on the bed with the pattern facing down. That way, when you fold it back over the blanket, the pattern will be showing. What? I have to... What? So this is upside down? I put the pattern yeah. facing up. Just... But the tag is on this side. Look, see the tag. Yeah. That's so weird. Okay. That's pattern how facing. they say to do it. Pattern. Especially if you're gonna put a thing over it. Pattern facing down. Okay. I've what kind of sheets before. are the best? The yeah. softest. Go with 100% Egyptian cotton for a super luxurious bed. You can also look for sheets with a sateen weave, which makes them silky. My okay. accent's a bit off. <laughs> so sorry. It's okay. 
Um, so we've got somebody here that said jo- it's Jordan Hale said just tuned in. What am I watching? <laughs> this is a tutorial stream. Uh, yeah, it's a tutorial stream, and I asked how to fix a bed so you don't look like a slob. Yeah, because my bed was a mess. <laughs> his bed was a mess, so he's putting his bed together. Yeah. <laughs> um, but primarily this stream was for SFM. Uh, <laughs> What's so up? if you have a question about SFM, go ahead and ask it. Yeah, if you've got a very specific uh, non-bed related question, <laughs> feel free to ask. I'm sure Red Ace is going to be like, wow, what is this accent? <laughs> what on earth has happened? <laughs> What's happened? What has happened? What are you talking about? Ah. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, honestly don't know. I, I don't hear anything wrong with your accent, actually. It's well, just like good. normal, isn't it? Ah, uh, reckon so. Yeah. 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 No, oh, I it's, can that's just advertise the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud on this website. Students save seventy percent on Creative Cloud. Buy now. <laughs> Yeah, I find that funny, um, especially <laughs> since like you can. WikiHow is not the place I would have expected that sort of ad. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit strange to be honest. What do you mean? Cause, Any like, other reason? I mean, you can imagine that the. Uh, I mean, these pictures were obviously not made by. Uh, oh my god. Good lord, what? look at her mouth! <laughs> look at her mouth, it goes all the way up her cheek! <laughs> the oh my god sort of slipped out. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Pixie I was... says, Pac Man mouth. Sorry, I uh. Nah. Just See, the thing, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not as distracted by the mouth. As yeah. I am by the very small arm coming out of her stomach. <laughs> her, her chest burster arm. <laughs> and, and the back leg is lower than the front leg when her other arm that's behind her is higher. So it gives us a weird, very, very weird <laughs> perspective. Yeah, on like, everything. is she, is, is she, like... Standing up on her tippy toe on her right leg. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. She's got heels on one side of she's, her. She's 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 only got heels on <laughs> one she's side of her leg. On the right side and not on the left. So that so that if if her if her right leg starts hurting because she's wearing heels, she can start hopping on her left leg. <laughs> that is, that strategy right there. You get best of both worlds. Plus the bun is like behind her head when. Her shoulder is towards us, so it's like it's a very, very, she's like, she's very like... weird uh, perspective. And then the bed doesn't match the perspective on the body at all in any aspect. Whatsoever. Yeah, no. Like you've got those perspective lines, and then like <laughs> I don't know. Like it feels like the the table is also at a different perspective. Yeah, it feels like it. Uh, more more so the lamp than the uh, the actual table. I think. Oh yeah, no, that lamp. You no, know. that lamp. That lamp is, <laughs> is it's on another level. Okay, it so really this was is. my old duvet. My old duner cover. Comforter. Your duna. My duner. Yeah. <laughs> so it's So um, So 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 How do you say so? So, 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 right. So yeah, you can so. see that <laughs> this is just the cover, and this so. one, this this donor right here is really, really thin. I like it, but apparently it's old, so I gotta throw it out. I guess. So, I don't know. I mean, I can always just switch it around if I don't like this new one. Uh, I think this is inside out. 
Where's the normal part? Ah, oh, here it is. So, okay. really quick, uh, I'm gonna read you the chat just a bit. Yeah, go for it. Ah. Uh, uh, Pixie had said Pac-Man mouth in relating to the arc. Yes. But yes. Jordan asked, uh, they tagged me specifically and said, I know you saying the Ain't No Rest of the Wicked cover of Quilla is using, but I can't seem to find it. Where can we find that recording? And I was going to say, it's technically not public yet. Yeah. Um, I specifically recorded this back in 2018 for Quilla to animate. And he has not animated it yet. <laughs> hey, now, listen here. It takes time, okay? It does, but you didn't start until this year. Oh, yes, because I was working... What, I like was... two months ago? I was working on another animation, okay? Yeah. But then you added, like, three more small ones in the middle of it. Well, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, hurry up and do it then. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> like... I wasn't yeah. confident enough to to tackle a music video at that point, so... No, that's not what it is. I think it was because you didn't have any inspiration to do it yet. Well, I yeah. I think that's the key for you. I... You, have this, you have this insane ability to uh, visualize something in your head but never put it on paper. Yeah. So it makes it very hard for you to come back to a project and go, I mean, I had an idea for this, but... <laughs> no. No, 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 fuck. No, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm, ter I'm terrible with my O's. In the, yeah, you are. In that it's, accent. it's kind of insane. I, I can hit every other vowel. Except for oh, <laughs> sometimes I forget the R's, just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like just a bit. Uh, are are you talking about your accent you're doing now or your natural yeah, one? Yeah, the one the one I'm doing now. Yeah. I sort of forget the R's, just just a tiny bit. That's the one letter that sort of catches on me. Yeah. And certain forms of the A versus R. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. A sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're a little bit hard to, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, um, wants to Jordan continuing that, I have been debating making it public before Quilla ends up finishing this. <laughs> um, I reckon I could record it, have it mixed down, and then have my patrons do, do background <laughs> vocals for it. In the time it would take him to animate this this version. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's because he gets. He, Kula has this problem. He gets very distracted, and uh, burnt out very easily. And he doesn't uh, make like animatic, or even just like uh, a a verbal animatic, like a a word one like a word document that says that this timestamp I want to do this and put out like a little bit of a, a text for himself to follow through. That's what? One of the You're crazy. I never get distracted. I always, I, when I set out to work on my animation, I always, 100% oh, no. of the time, never get distracted and do it from start to finish. I don't do stuff like <laughs> pause in the middle of the stream and make a bed. That doesn't happen. <laughs> Is, uh, Jordan says, this has turned into a Quilla roast session. He roasts himself. I roast Have myself. Have you been here? Yeah, nah, he roasts himself very frequently. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Uh, God, did I put this in wrong? Stage directions, yes. Uh, one sec. Your sorry. live stream's kind of gone wonky wonky. Alright, there it goes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> this, is, this is my first time. It's your first time. Yeah, and I keep putting things in wrong. <gasps> Why is it over there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and like force it in. No. See what happens if I stuff it. And... You gotta get it prepped first, at the very least. Well, yeah, but I'm Goodness. trying to get like. It feels like there's bloody like. Eight this bloody what? Different sections of this, and there's, this should only be four corners, but it's like. It feels like there's eight. It's really funny how you sort of like keep slipping into 
funny little uh, phrases that. <laughs> Americans don't Belmont, say bloody. By the way. See, there's one of my R's that I didn't say right. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear it, huh? Just, just a tiny bit. I think I think Sorry. you're a lot better yeah. at your Australian than I am at my American. That's for sure. I mean, you do sort of sound Canadian. Just which a tiny bit. Is not a problem. It's not a bad thing. So uh, Belmont said, "Howdy, guys," and he said, I "Is this how Tuesday vids always go?" Question mark like. With the think face? Uh, the answer uh, to that is no. no. I want to say confidently, no. Usually, Quillo is a lot more um, scatterbrained than he currently is because he's physically doing something on stream. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good lord. Oh, god damn. Ugh, come on! <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> 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 like a pizza. Kind of comfy though. A tiny, thin Australian boy over there. I mean, American boy. Sorry. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. Itchy. Ah. Why am I itchy? Ah. You're always ah. itchy. You always say you're itchy in like every stream. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. All right. I think okay. it's time for me. It's time for me to enter the Dooniverse. Here we go. I was gonna say not the Duna, Dooniverse. No, it's no. He looks like he's in. He's like. <laughs> it looks like he's in an egg yolk. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else watching, but there's like that thin layer if you if you cook just enough. Like, or just a little bit of egg, and then you lift it with a spatula. <laughs> it kind of looks like that's what he is right now. This right now is like a reverse egg. Yeah. Yep. Just a moment, because it's like it's like yellow on the outside. Ugh. It's like a soft, so it's a soft, soft fried egg, or something. That's what it is. Yeah, no, it's lit. like um, it's like uh, when you try to sunny side up an egg. Have you ever? Tried to do that actually. Um, I didn't know that there was a difference, but uh, but like so yeah. So you never I... had to that up instead of an over easy. Yeah, yeah. I like like. So you thought they were the same thing? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I didn't no? think they were the same thing. Okay. I just didn't think there was like a big importance surrounding it, you know. So, I can tell you about that, because I love cooking. I'm yeah, a go big for it. Cook. Yeah. I'm a big chef. Uh, not really. I just like to cook. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a chef. But, um, over easy, you, you just crack the egg into the pan, and you cook it on one side, then you flip it over. Over. <laughs> over. <laughs> you flip it over, and, um... You cook it on the other side until it's uh, all the white is cooked, but the yellow is still soft, and you can break it open and it leaks. Yeah, so that's, that's over easy. And over medium is where you cook it just a bit longer, and it doesn't leak very much at all. Uh, sunny side up is where you cook one side, but put a little bit of water in there, and then put a lid on it, and that steams the top. Of the um, the egg, oh. so it technically cooks. Yeah, it technically cooks, but it keeps the um, the look of it as if it's cracked it into the pan. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Because of course, if you do yeah. if you do over easy or, or over medium, you get the uh, yeah. like the brown the brown cooked bits on the top. Yeah, of it. on both sides. Yeah, but the you sunny side up makes sides. it look more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's not as ex it's not as aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Um, really quick, uh, Pixie says I'm watching on my phone and it looks like he's trying to put away a parachute or something. I think and you're right. <laughs> Belmont says, "Oh man, that reminds me of those lazy egg cartoons. Have you guys seen those?" Uh, personally, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lazy Egg cartoons. Lazy Egg. No, I've never seen anything like that before. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> been, Pixie says, been watching a lot of Canadian vlogs and channels lately, so all of these accents sound weird to me now. Yeah, see, and to me, Krillo totally sounds like he's Canadian instead of American. Ugh. All right. Like, that, that's just, oh, no. <laughs> You're not allowed to, sh to sleep on stream. I thought that was a rule. Oh, but it's comfy. Isn't that a rule? It's comfy. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's comfy. <laughs> It's, it's very com comfortable. It's not comfy? Not comfy? Com not comfy. comfy. You said it with a bit of an accent there. Yeah, I don't know how to say comfy in the American accent. You like, sort of got it just now. Well, yeah. Yeah. I suppose because I wasn't thinking about it, eh? Yeah, eh? you weren't thinking about it too hard. I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. Alright, good night. <laughs> Well, damn. I don't know if I'd be able to go into your account and uh, stop the stream. Oh, no. 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 Um. No. 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 When I say don't, I mean don't. I mean don't. don't. <laughs> All right. I'm back. I am back. Um, no. I was going to say you're back. Just let me know I have to stop. No, it's all good. You can keep going. I don't mind. All right, uh, cool. I wasn't sure good if it Lord. comes off as like to you. Oh, you don't think you know so? What I mean? Yeah. Uh. Okay. So how was the bed? Bed's good. The duna does actually. The duner, the duvet, does actually feel a lot better than the previous mm -hmm. one. It actually feels very fluffy now. You know, you know a random thing that I found very funny? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, you ever have that moment where you learn something new and then, like, an hour later it comes up in regular conversation, unprompted, and you're like, I literally just learned what that was. Yeah. <laughs> so you sound, like, you sound like you know what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. That happened, that happened like, I think a couple days ago. And I was about to ask you, do you know what a courgette is? Courgette? I've yeah. never heard that word before in my life. Okay, <coughs> okay. See, that's that's what I thought too. I uh, I was watching a show and the word came up and I, I was like, what the hell is that? So I Googled it. It's the uh, British word for a zucchini. What? Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's zucchini, but that's what they call it is a courgette. And I think it's because they have a hard time saying the word zucchini. <laughs> I think that's literally the only reason. It's like you guys being like, oh, bell pepper, but peppers are all hot and bell peppers aren't. So we're going to call them capsicum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, so like you you made that leap of logic and I was like, maybe it's because they can't actually pronounce zucchini. zucchini the right way. Like it doesn't it doesn't sound right when they say it, so they say courgette. <laughs> and like at that moment, um, like an hour later, I was talking with Jack and he he brought he like unprompted, totally unprompted, he brought up uh courgette. And I was like, I can't believe you've said this. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is actually true. Okay. And I was like, oh, yeah, I literally just learned what that was. And he's like, oh, yeah, what is it in, in like, American English? And I was like, ah, it's a zucchini. Yeah. And he's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's what it's called. And I was like, yep. <laughs> Aubergine and eggplant. <laughs> Which one do you say? We say zucchini. No, 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 for eggplant. What do eggplant. you say? You say eggplant? Eggplant, yeah. Okay. Are you still doing the accent, or am I just like... I'm trying. I, specific <laughs> okay. I specifically said eggplant, not yeah, eggplant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I was like, hmm. Yeah, no. Um... <laughs> my, my brain is sort of having like a, a meltdown right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 
going on? Because <laughs> no. I can't tell if I'm doing the accent anymore. <laughs> That's the problem. My brain cannot process whether or not I'm doing the accent right now. <laughs> this is what happened that one day I binge watched H2O. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly what happened that day. Because that became my reality. Mm -hmm. uh, for anybody that do is watching and doesn't know, there's a show that's <laughs> extremely Australian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very, Very Australian. Much so. um, they aired on, I think it was Nickelodeon. I think Nickelodeon took it. Uh, but they were, they aired the show and it was called H2O and it's about mermaids. Mm hmm. <laughs> Off the Gold Coast, mm -hmm. which I did not realize <laughs> until like what a month before it went down. Because you were, like, I was like talking about when Pixie's I first seen H two O. Huh? Pixie's seen H two O. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> they've done they've done a weird reboot recently, but uh, yeah. So <laughs> Chloe was my favorite. <laughs> She was very, she was very interesting. The way they were, the way they pitched Chloe, because uh, she didn't have a life like the other two at all. She was very annoying. Uh, she was annoyed with her sister a lot, um, which is fine. That's mm -hmm. you know, uh, I think that's a normal thing. But um, <laughs> uh, she had the very like teen angst thing going on, where she's just like, oh, parents don't understand, like. They just listen to my little sister and not me. Like, <laughs> like that sort of behavior. And I always loved that because she was so ridiculous about it. But um, what happened was uh, the very first time I watched it, I had... <laughs> it sounds really bad, right? But in, in America, I where I live, we did not learn about Australia <laughs> mm, at all. Mm. I knew nothing about Australia nothing about australia i just i just learned that it was a continent mm. not a country that it was a continent mm. <laughs> <laughs> so um i think it was like 14 or something when i was watching it and this happened but what happened was <laughs> i don't know how, how, how atrocious this is the accent is getting either um, <laughs> it's, it's still <laughs> so pretty sorry. good it's still it's uh, still pretty good it's <laughs> still pretty good but no no, it's still pretty good. Yeah, it does have kangaroos. Australia has kangaroos and drop bears and terrifying spiders that you don't really want anywhere near you at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and platypuses. Just, and and platypi. Platypi. Yeah. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the plural for, for platypus is platypi. Actually. Um, but the funny thing was when I was watching H2O, uh, I had this moment where I was just like, oh, this is not, like, this is sort of just, like, based off of, you know, the, uh, <laughs> I was like, it, it was funny because I'm like, these accents are very strange. I've never heard an accent like this. Mm. Um, I didn't piece together that Gold Coast was in Australia at all. I, <laughs> it was so bad. I was so upset at when I when I like suddenly realized it later. Yeah. But um <laughs> uh I did like I didn't piece together that the Australia that they were portraying is the same as the Australia that exists in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, oh no. <laughs> mm. <sighs> oh, Um. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't actually know that you were stuck in that um, accent. Yeah, so until... I, I binged it for about six or seven hours, and that I was alone. So that accent became the only thing that I realized was happening. And the funny thing is, is they've got like three or four actors in there that are from different parts of Australia. So the accent is very different depending on which one you're listening to in the show. So that's why I thought, oh, they're just, you know, doing something very silly as like an accent thing to try and make it like, oh yeah, this is a different place than what actually exists because it's a show about freaking mermaids. So <laughs> Australia doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Australia doesn't actually exist. Therefore, obviously make, you know, because mermaids don't exist. So it's whatever. 
but um uh let's see uh but what happened was um i had this moment while watching the show that i realized i was also talking in their voice because my sister came out of her room and asked me what did she ask me did i tell you um i don't remember uh i think I she, she i think time. she asked you where something was like she, oh yeah she was yeah. like asking me like oh do you know where the iron is or something like that do you know where the and iron is like, <laughs> and i was like i don't know and then i went oh god <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in to talk with um with my biological mother and mm -hmm. I was like, something's wrong. And she's like, what are you wait, why are you talking like that? And I'm like, that yeah, that's what's wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is like, oh, that yeah. is that is the thing that's wrong. Um yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm stuck in this accent forever. Like I I don't know what to do. And I was about to cry because it was like an hour and a half after I stopped watching. Mm. Like, <laughs> I was so worried. <laughs> mm. It was ridiculous. We're good at it. Also, hi, Belmont. Hi, Belmont. See you in the call. And if you pay the right price, oh. your evening will be nice How are you? You sound very far away. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have to work with my laptop. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Yeah, you should have you should have come uh, borrow my uh, headset. Might be a bit closer because I've got you know wireless headset and it's got the little droppy down thing. <sighs> the craziest thing I ever learned out Australia about Australia in school was foreign invasive species would be dumped in Australia by the hundreds or something. Toads and snakes and stuff. Yes, actually, um, it's very, very bad, the amount of invasive species that we have in Australia. It's an incredible, like, you know how, you know how when you're on the planes and you're flying and they don't want you to bring, like, plants and stuff into the country? Um, if you've ever been out of country, that if is. you've been out of country, that is, uh, we crack down massively on that in Australia. Uh, it's like it's anywhere between a five thousand to ten thousand dollar fine if you um, bring in plants from another country into Australia. Um, yeah. I think it's even worse for animals, um, and especially bad for insects. It's especially bad for insects. Uh, so you really have to declare if you've been in any sort of freshwater or in livestock areas if you've been traveling. Um, yeah. And it's just, it's just, it's terrible. Um, because we actually have a lot of invasive species. We've got um, the rabbits was one big problem. Um, they got out of Why hand. Why even brought over? Was that just as a food source or something? I believe it was, and then it got out of control. Rabbits spread like rabbits, and it got out of control. Um, they don't have very uh, prominent Ah, what's the word for it? Predators? Predators, thank you. Yeah, predators. What's the word? They don't, we don't have a lot of small rodent predators in Australia because most of our... Um, dingoes, and that's it. We've got dingoes. <laughs> di ding, damn it. Dingoes. 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 Uh -huh. We've got dingoes Dingo. and uh, some snakes, but most of our ecosystem is based off of our insect population and our yep. plant life and the rabbits tore through our plants and uh so that was uh so that's why we had to build a massive fence <laughs> if you've ever heard of the rabbit proof fence that's what that is it's a mass it's a it's a ginormous fence that it's stretches very, very tall actually in comparison to what i would have expected i would i would have to see for it myself because i've i've never actually I, th I thought it was like a i, th I thought it was like like a chest height sort of thing so the rabbits can't jump over it um but no it stretches all the way from the east of uh, like new south wales northeast of new south wales new south wales all the way down to like the middle ish area of of uh, south australia 
so it's, it's from like coastline to coastline all the way ready. through it's kind of like if you tried to make a fence between i would say san francisco that's at the top part of california right no no uh los angeles is that the top part of california no dang it what's honestly though you you sound like every other american because they would never know unless they live there <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's somewhere I'm in not there. Even worry about it. Is Seattle in California? <laughs> uh, sorry. Top left. Top left of Very California. Top. That'd be like Crescent City. Yeah. Really? Crescent City. The the major city that's in the top left of California. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. The top Crescent left of California, city. all the way down to the bottom left of Texas bottom right of texas actually like all the way down past dallas and down to the bottom right part of texas so that's so that's like close to so long. yeah 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 yeah. something like that um that's that's okay. kind of like scale it's the second longest it's the second longest uh gate or, or wall technically in the world the first of course being the great great wall of china <laughs> the great wall the great wall of china <laughs> The great wall of China. Yeah. <laughs> the way you say that was is perfect. Anyway, Washington yeah. State, but I thought I thought Seattle was on the west side of America, not on the east. In Washington. No. <laughs> Dude, is it near the White is House? Find out if he's actually. This is how you know if he's actually American or not. He's like, oh yeah, Washington's on the east side. It's like, no, that's Washington D. That's Washington D.C. You moron. <laughs> it's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I made. I was. I was doing that on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Purpose. Yeah, Washington's the top. It's the most top oh. left. The most Sorry. northwest. Still not explained the the crazy egg thing, the lazy egg boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Sanrio character. As soon as I saw it, I recognized it. But yeah, it's in the uh, the voice chat typing. If you wanted to check. Oh, let's have a look. Voice chat typing. What about it? Rem oh, the oh. egg of him like crawling into the shell. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Where he like crawled under the the do the duna cover. Yeah. Yeah. Under the duvet nice. cover. Yeah. Under the comforter. The comforter. To the comforter sleeve. The comforter sleeve. Let's say it's say it in American. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh. Vancouver, Washington. Everyone thinks we're Canadian or from DC. Oh. Yeah. So aside from Alaska, uh, Washington's the very top left of a, of America, isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah. It's the the top left consecutive state. It because some yes. people make a distinction between the consecutive uh, states and the actual states because there's no way Hawaii could be consecutive or Alaska could be consecutive. So. Of course, yeah. You know. <sighs> so, Quillo, got a question. Yeah. Can you start animating the next scene? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this kind of kind of saucy, kind of risque eye position here, and then I'm gonna have her close her eyes here. <laughs> Be I just watched you in the stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me going. No. When I say, <laughs> "Can you start animating the next scene?" You're just like. No. <laughs> you couldn't even hold up the um, the American accent for that. Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I did it on porpoise. What? What word did I say earlier? 
about the consecutive. I said consecutive. Yeah, you, you said consecutive. Yeah. I meant con the contiguous. Contiguous. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, ah, heck. Mainland United States. Mainland. Mainland United States. Well, yeah, would you look United he States? Looky here. Honor. It's a film shot. It is I. Yes. It's a film shot. Have you been? It's been a while. I've been pretty good. Running up the ranks at work. Indeed. Are you still at the, uh... <sighs> yes, I am. The correctional facility? Yes. The undisclosed facility? The or undisclosed guess, correctional facility? <laughs> the over-glorified detention center. I mean, jail. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say detention center? I meant jail. The big boy timeout. <laughs> I'm right big back. Okie dokie. Big boy timeout expensive. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Love big boy yes. To be fair, I've seen very confused Canadians here in the U.S. We have a lot of redundant or reused names, including stuff like Vancouver, where it's mostly known to be a big city somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, here, we have county names within the state. That the always county. confused me. Why is there like? Why is why is there a difference between the county sheriff and the police department? Is, well, isn't because there's actually federal, state, county, and then that's it. It's your three. And then and we also have locations such as uh, townships and bureaus, which are even smaller, where constables go to. Yeah, like I understand. I like I understand the like the townships because you know it's a town and it's it's like it's like separate to it's 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 inside the yeah. state so it has to follow it's the like state four laws townships within one county which is in yeah yeah, yeah. but like you know cuz it's a, you know, the conglomeration of people that determine like what they have to follow and whatnot. but the thing that confuses me is that why is there a distinction between state and county uh, the county's yeah, obviously there's... smaller than the states but why do you need the counties and but the thing that confuses me as well is that the counties can also go across state lines isn't that correct one county can be in multiple states no. No. Oh. No. One county is county. You stay in your county. You can stay in your lane. State can go across the state. Federal can go across other states. No, no. I mean, I mean, like, a county line can travel across the states. Like one county in different states. Is that is that a thing that happens? Uh, I'm on the border of. A, I don't know. <laughs> I, I no, never noticed. I, that was not one thing I thought of. Let me check. Counties in America. So let's have a look. Now there are more than one of the same county name in different parts of the country. Yeah, that's that's a given. That's that's definitely a given. There's also, you know, we have five counties in this side of the state, but you go over to another state down south, its street names are the same names as the county within the same block. Yeah. Okay, okay, so okay, so I thought I thought the counties the county lines would uh would sometimes intersect with uh state lines but that is not correct no the state lines determined by the county lines actually mm -hmm. huh well how about that i didn't actually know that no the, yeah it seems as though the county lines are what actually determine the state line and not the other way around yeah. so their stopping point is the border of each state got it correct yeah the state lines themselves so, are made up of the county lines someone so sent me a message the counties that revolve around the perimeter of each state has a very flat end it's funny because it's in Canada, the border, uh, a lot of the places that's between America and Canada, there's a line. In fact, there's a library that in the building itself, there's a line that you don't cross because this side is America and this side is Canada. You don't mm. cross that, you need a passport to get to this, the same building on this, this because it happens to fall on the line that they made when they divided America and Canada. Mm. It's really interesting. They literally put a line there that says do not cross over. There's even a, a town that has a road, and through that the yellow line in the middle of the road is the line between America and Canada. So in order to go on the other side of the road, you, need, you literally need a passport. Mm, mm. It's weird. I forget Very the strange. Name. But it's just it's just one of those things, the bureaucratic things that kind of happens. He's like, he's like, you politics, silly. It's mine. It's my property. <laughs> I thought you were asking questions for counties involving around like 
correctional settings and what they mean, why they separate. Or, you know, just criminal in general. County can't go across state. County stay in county. If you are a violator in this county, you can't go to another county to serve your time. You Correct. You need to another county. You need to stay in the county that you committed the crime in. Yeah, but if you happen to be caught in the other county, you can't stay at that jail, even though you got caught over there, because the violation wasn't there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if you committed a crime in a county near Sacramento, but you weren't near Sacramento when you got caught, you'd still have to serve time in Sacramento. Correct. They'll just hold you in their jail until the that jail until... in Sacramento comes and gets you. Okay, so that's where the Your prison transport starts. buses yeah. come along and, and things like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. In fact, we had to deal with some idiotic. We had to deal with the political stuff of that today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because right now, because of COVID, we cannot take out of county detainers, is what they're called. Uh, so, this this county here is called Venango, mm -hmm. and we have surrounding counties that have county jails as well. And people violate whatever they did, their criminal, you know, they did their thing at that county. So therefore, that county has to take them because that's where they violated. But they want to put them in our jail. But we're like, bruh, COVID, no, we fool, we no take unless it's for us and us alone. Yeah. So this guy came in on Mercer the other county mm. and but the gray line was it was a state level and we were confused on because i didn't want to you know it was a gray line of can we take them can we not take them and so we took them mm. in the end after mm. a long like 20 minute debate mm. <laughs> yeah it's annoying yes. you know they tell us don't take this for this but then hear that thing that comes <coughs> this has one tiny different thing and we take Yes. And they, even they question it. Like, everybody was questioning, do we take them? Mm. <laughs> and, like, figure it out. I feel, like, I feel like, like, for currently with these restrictions in place, like, mm -hmm. the crimes should be served in whatever county they're caught in just so that they're not being moved around. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. I know, but it should. Know. What are you, you one country, or are you a lot of little things, a lot of little yeah. countries... All just in the one area. It's so. Okay, okay, okay. So, cadet, cadet asked a question: Which would be worse, dating an imperialist, a traitor, or a criminal? Time for debate time. I personally think that a traitor would be worse, because, because you know. Traitors could be killed. No, because if they've if they've betrayed someone before, they'd probably betray them again, or betray someone new. So dating a traitor. Would be the worst one. What was the first one? Traitor, criminal, and what? An imperialist, a traitor, a criminal. Imperialist, a traitor, or a criminal. So which would be worse for you? I mean, obviously a criminal at this point in time, if you look at your job, you wouldn't want to date one of your inmates. <laughs> I will never. I have, a, I have a platinum rule. Not a golden or bronze rule. A platinum rule. I will never date anybody within this county. Because we are a small town, small county, and I can guarantee at least once in a five-year span I've worked there, I have seen everybody in this town in that jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. At least once. And so, therefore, I will never date anybody in or in the surrounding areas of this town. Hmm. And also, I'm trying to move states. I'm trying to get out of this. This, this town isn't exactly the best. And I've seen it firsthand, the corruption and the stupidity behind this entire town, like the way it runs things. And I want out. And my other thing is, is that if I date somebody and end up like falling in love and all that, you wouldn't be able to get out. Eventually, somebody always comes back later. I don't want to come back here in ten years. Like, I miss my family. Can we go back to Franklin? And I'm like, no, it's a terrible town. But I miss my family. And then you're like, all right, dear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody always gives in. I've been hearing all these stories. All these older people that I've talked with that have been here, they came back because of family. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Why, hello there. People that's wow. been in California, A lot of Texas, people are joining in. in this town, and yet they come back. <laughs> they just keep coming back. A lot of people are coming in today. Appreciate you Hello, all coming Tur around. Hello, Tonel. Hello, Pardon me. Hmm, yes. Tony, also, Tony oh, what about uh, California, if I might interject? 
Uh, we were having a convers. Well, what were we talking about? We were having a conversation about county lines. Start. County lines. The what? <laughs> county line. Yeah. Uh, which county? Like Why counties are dumb. Uh, we're talking about my jail, and then we're talking about how at some point it led up to me talking about my specific town and how silly it is and why I don't ever want to date. Oh yeah, because he said inmates. <laughs> like, yeah, I, never, I don't want to date inmates. Don't, it's a gold. Don't don't do that, people. Don't do, don't do that. Dating anymore. is for squares. In fact, I've seen it done four times this year. CEOs have actually dated inmates. I don't know why that was a thing. Like once they got out, they dated them, and that's what that, that that's what they do is what they do. And they're not dating them while they're an inmate. They just an extra. Hey, and at that oh. point, you're just using the jail as like a oh. dating system. And it's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Every time it never ends well. It's like, I'm just learning from other people. Don't do it. I don't just like that. I don't like that at all. Get rid of it. Stupid. Get rid of it. It's fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get every single point here. And I'm gonna move back three frames and put a bookmark down. I also, you say the, are you streaming? Has been made. I am streaming right now. Yes, that's why we're in the stream. The stream chat. Okay, because it doesn't it didn't change your thing to purple on Discord. That's because I'm not streaming on Twitch. Mm. Hmm. But wouldn't it also be able to do the same thing for you, uh, YouTube Live or something, or nope. is it just strictly just? Twitch? I believe it's just Twitch. It should be. Um, let me have a look, uh, cause streamer mode, yeah, no, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to have, I don't know, is it, maybe it's, maybe it's the overlay, or maybe it's game activity or something, I don't know. If I have that display currently, no, it doesn't you? change it to, does not change it to purple. Automatically enable or disable uh, streamer mode if OBS or XSplit are running on the computer. Yes, and that's what I did, and my thing is still not purple because I'm not streaming on Twitch. It's not a recognized. Uh, maybe if I uh, where is it authorized apps? Oh, you just are. That one. YouTube is on your uh, user information. Correct. It is completely strange. Very strange indeed. Ah. Ah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My nose hate. I hate. I hate my nose. It hates me too. Well, at least you don't have uh, the big nose that I do. Nah, uh, uh, uh. Oh, Yours is bigger. Hmm. Hmm. I, thought, I think we had this debacle before. <laughs> what debacle? Who's, who's bigger? <laughs> Who has the biggest <laughs> nose? Yeah. Can you fit your thumb inside your nostril? Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, can you? I'm not asking you to do it. I'm just asking, no, can you? That's yeah. not because your nose is big. It's because your head's hollow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's using it for, uh, what is it, drilling out into your skull just to see if it's hollow or not. Has anybody here had the COVID test done on them yet? Nope. No, I've not had a COVID test. I've never I've been asked to. I hate it. And it's now, worthy. If I have to do it again, I gotta do it myself. And I will not do that. You will not go swab swab inside your nostrils? They go deep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they have to, they they have to touch the back yeah. of your throat through your nose. Through that nose hole in your, in your skull, I'm like, oh, it stings, it burns, make it stop. And then that was hard enough with them doing it. Mm. Doing it yourself? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, you gotta... Like, you have to, you have to accidentally do, twin you something and you, you flick yourself and then it doesn't work. Nope. It's like, uh, I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it myself. But yeah, like, no. Next time, I, next time if I have to do it, that's what has to be done. I'm like, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely I'll not. Thank you. Uh, I'll be like, <laughs> you know me, I'm out. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder, can I, hang on, I just want to see something. Rolls, animator. If I, okay, I, want to, I want to try right. something. Um, where is it? Priority speaker, save. Okay, so now when I'm talking, does it quiet you guys down? Well, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, it testing, seems, testing, it testing. seems, it testing. seems, it, keep talking, Maggie. <laughs> so, so, it, okay, so it doesn't quiet it down for me. Does it quiet it down for everyone else? I, I, I was barely able to hear you. Oh. Um, I don't know. I don't, have, I don't have priority speaking on. I like to hear everybody equally. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't Nobody see. wants priority. <laughs> No music. <laughs> no music. <laughs> I know, I know. Still, no music. And we're playing Coco here. It's one of the rules of the stream. The stream. I'm pretty sure. Did I actually outline that? I don't the stream. Remember. The stream. I don't know. I think. The stream I, rules. I don't have... know. Where the hell are my rules? You never really specified that. Yeah, I don't think I did. God damn it. Oops. Nope. <laughs> I think I did once upon a time, but I got rid of it. God damn. I think a good one is uh, it can't be overpowering. It could be like a subtle background, but nothing that could get you in trouble. No. <laughs> Just no music. <laughs> It just makes it a little bit harder. <laughs> anyway, did any of you have any questions about SFM that you had any burning answers to? Want any burning answers to, that is. Because that's what this stream is for. It's Tutorial uh, Tuesdays. If you have any questions about SFM, go ahead and ask them. Do you and know, try to answer them. Do you know where I can get some models for uh, that's from a different game? Because... Apparently they're hard to get. They are very hard to get. You'd have to wait until someone actually ports them across to SFM, because um, there's a way that you can decompile assets if you have a um, like a source, uh, like I don't know, like an emu. If if you've got like an emulator, there's a way, and you got like a ROM. I'm pretty sure there's a way to mine the data, the d data of the um, the models that you want to use. Um, and then you can try and get that into Blender, and then you can go from Blender to port it into SFM. But sometimes there's a lot of problems, so it's better to wait until someone a lot more experienced actually does it for you. So when it comes no. to getting models from games, it's a waiting game if you don't know how to do it yourself. Like, for example, Warframe models. Yeah, Warframe, no. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, I mean, obviously if you've got, if, um, uh, 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 yeah, uh, if you've got like custom models, I know that the base Warframe models, I think are in SFM, but the custom newly added ones, they're going to take a ton, some time. And there's also, you need to have that sort of, uh, I guess, dedicated following to really get on top of porting those models across. So the there is um um they uh, was it called i remember warframe having like a model uh thing or a uh, uh their own um since they had to make their own entire engine to run their game on um they also had a uh i, I would say like a like a model development um, program, uh, where you, where you can make it. Yeah, yeah. So there, there is, there is. I guess there is. A, they are. There's those programs there. Um, That's but, directly actually from the company that made uh, the game. Yeah. So if they if they provide modeling tools in order for you to be able to create like community assets then that's a good way mm -hmm. to try and get it across. But of course, it's just getting it ported to Blender to then get it ported to SFM. So that is that is that is one of the things. Okay, um, so there was a question from a Mr. Jordan Hale who asked, um, last, week, last week there were some green lines around the model's faces. What are those for? Okay, so you're gonna have to be more specific. There's, a, there's some green lines, I guess, but what are you looking for specifically are you talking about are you talking about 
these lines kind of like here, green. this 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 green line here. Oh, it's good to have you here, Pixie. Appreciate it. Good night. <laughs> yeah, you have a good one. Okay, so what are the green lines in SFM? Okay. This is my so I'm gonna edit your question a tiny bit, um, because uh, some of the there, there's some specifics about it that's really important. Um, they're not actually green lines. Um, they're green dots. The green dots, the green dots and gray lines. What are the green dots and gray lines in SFM? So that's what it actually is at the moment. Um, Cause these aren't actually green lines. They are green dots. You can sort of see there's like a pulse that goes through it. Um, and these, yeah, that, there's like a little pulse that goes through it and they're actually connected. If I just zoom into those real quick by gray lines. Okay. So very quick answer is that they, these gray, these green dots and gray lines are exactly where the bone you've selected will be in any given point in time. Um, so you can see that during this point here, it's got a very smooth motion and suddenly it ducks down and goes up and then comes back around here. That's because I'm currently looking at her head and that motion is being defined by the neck and everything connected to her. So if I just go back through time, you might notice that the blue square is now going along those green dots exactly. Precisely exactly. Those green dots specifically are frames. Um, those are identified by the frames. Um, and you can see if I, if I zoom in here and then go back and forth. Okay, maybe not there actually, maybe not that. Maybe they're not actually frames. Uh, <laughs> I think I think those dots actually refer to 24 frames. So those those are dots on every 24th of a second. Um, and to get from 20, 60 to 24, you have to divide by five and times by two. So that is 2.5. So every two. So every so every five frames is two dots. So if I go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's another dot. So you see that? It's 24 frames a second on the green dots and gray lines. Um, and it's it's where it's where the it's where this bone is going to be. The root of that bone is going to be at any given point in time based off of each frame. Okay? Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing that's important about this uh, green dotted line is that the actual extent of this green dotted line is defined by what you've selected in the motion editor. So if I only want to see that specific part of her motion, then that is, once it's selected, there it is. Um, and it's only for at the beginning of this motion to the end of it that's being selected in the motion editor. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't, you cannot change something outside of the motion editor. It just won't be reflected exactly as much on this green line because you won't be able to see it because it's outside of your select in, in the motion editor. So that's what the green dots are. Um, the green dots and gray lines. Um, it's just defined by, it's it's what, it's the motion of the root bone that you've selected. Um, and the other important part to realize, it's the motion of the last bone you've selected. If you've got multiple bones selected, it's the last one that shows up. Um, so if I select the uh, rig chest, it's gonna go from the base of that rig chest and it's going to map out where this rig chest is going to be in this entire selection. Um, currently, it's only the shot as well. The the bounds of this green line is the shot, uh, shot. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what the gray gray dot the green dots and gray lines are. It's it's the motion of the last bone you've selected in your group, um, where the base of they are. So. It's something. It's actually. It's something that you could use to determine um, where you need to make motion either smoother or um, less smooth. Like you can see here, um, one th one of the principles of uh, animation is uh, the uh, squash and stretch of motion. Um, not only of the characters, but like it's of of the timing as well. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, what the word is but it's it's like when you want to have something move quickly you space out you space oh, out these cool. frames here 
if you want something to move slowly, you make those frames closer together. And the way you do that in SFM is by, if you want to make bring those dots closer together, you bring those bookmarks further apart. And if you want to spread out those dots, you move the bookmarks closer together. So yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> Were you referring to like in a moment when it's like looking like it's stretchy? Uh, in, in the motion part, it's kind of like a cartoony stretch, but it's not really a stretch. No, uh, no. So that's that's a different thing. Like I was saying, um, it's not exactly squash and stretch because squash and stretch specifically um, uh, is talking about actually stretching and squashing the character that you're animating to give that to to make the motion more apparent. Um, it's kind of you... like what? Sorry, but their hmm? question was about the green dotted line, right? Correct. Uh, the path of motion. Yeah, that's the path of motion. That's what I said. That's what I said in a, a little bit more concisely, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would say it's literally the whole thing is just a path of motion. Yeah. I mean, you have the... Represented. It also shows how fast it's going based on... Yeah. Yeah. And you might also notice, I just noticed then, is that sometimes the, uh, the dots will be blue. Um... And that's because that's what, that's the closest dot, I suppose. Oh, no, it's it's the dot that's immediately before the dot you've selected. Um, or the frame that you're on, that is. Um, but it's just because it's, it's, it's telling you at which point on the line is that frame appearing on. But, like, you can tell that by the bone you've selected. It's, it's a bit strange. Uh, and then the only other color these dots can be are gray. If you have some fall off, that's what that's what's being happened here. So you can sort of see, if I move her head up, you can see how the gray line changes. The green line here is fixed uh, relative to each other, but these gray lines, these gray dots, that is, um, change based off of what type of fall off I have. So if I change this fall off to a linear one, you can see that it changes like that. So you can see that it has the different kind of uh, motion being applied there. And if we look at that in motion, we can see... <laughs> it's a bit silly. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that's the, the gray dots and green lines. The green dots and gray lines. Anyway, so that's that question. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, questions at all? Don't be afraid to ask. Probably in a few minutes I'll be uh, going deaf for a while. Um, just I'm, game stuff. Yeah, I'm that's okay. Not, I'm, just, I'm just not getting around to reading the uh, stream chat. I'm like, that's a little <coughs> bit about American. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> American accents ain't exotic, are they? They got the Texans, they're good. Of course they are. Not even, the, like actually, the actually, something you might find is that um, if you talk to an Australian, they might actually find that the neutral American accent's quite exotic. Yeah. Not even like Southern, like, cause we can go, we Just can- Just a normal accent. We can go down South. Um, <laughs> yeah, and if, if you say, say they're down, down South, down. right, it sounds a little bit like yeah. this. Uh, Louisiana. Louisiana? Were you you're traveling to Louisiana? Oh, let me tell you about Louisiana and Alabama, boy. It's very hot. <laughs> Louisiana, Alabama. Alabama, those are very hot places. We don't call that If you want to be in Alabama, you got to have that Alabama twang in your sound. It's not, it's Sounded kind of like a pirate there, mate. Alabama. 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 <laughs> got to go catch them there catfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I love it. I used Very to live in Georgia. Nice. So I was right in the border of Alabama, so it was great. Yeah, <laughs> no. Because um, what I'm what I'm trying to do right now is the neutral American accent. That's that's the one that you know you find in the Midwest, Midwest American accent. Um, so actually, the north parts um, of Texas just, is what this just, just is the main parts of this area. Middle-aged man. Nothing on the West Coast. No. Nothing on the East Coast. <laughs> Well, yeah, because we could know. go, we could go way on the west coast, mate. We could go way on the west coast, pal. I don't know, like, buddy, bruh, friend, dude. dude we could go all the, the way. Coast, let's go to the beach, go Maggie. Maggie, oh. let's go to the beach. 
Let's catch some waves, bruh, dude. Let's go to the beach, bro. So we're all the way in the southwest of America, in the very west west part of America, dude. That's awesome. And then we dude, can go ahead and fly so over rad. to the other side of. Oh, hang on, what the fuck? Um, Boston. <laughs> I'm trying to do a Boston accent, okay? I'm really that bad at my Boston accent, okay? When you really want to do Boston accent, you gotta get your dog right and. It sounded like you're trying to do an Australian accent there, mate. <laughs> go to Rhode Island. <laughs> Rhode Island. Go to Rhode Island. I've never been to Rhode Island. I don't know what they sound you, like. You what are you talking to... about? Who's that? Who let this guy in? What? Sounds what is he doing? Let this dog in. I've never let been to Rhode Island. In. Who cares about Rhode Island, right? Who cares about Rhode Island? Um, and so that's that's the very far east parts of America. And when we go in between them, we find this neutral accent, which is actually the Texan, uh, the North Texan neutral accent. I, sh I know this, I, 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 like the only reason why I'm specifically putting this in North Texas is because there's someone that I know, um, it's kind of awesome New Mexico accent really, but anyway, um, Ed Seymour, he make, does a lot of voice acting, um, he's the main guy, I guess the main voice actor in Fan Fickles Entertainment's, uh, 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 what's it called, To the Moon, the dub version of To the Moon. Um, it's really great if you haven't go ahead and watch it Just search up to the moon dub and it's from a channel called fan fickle and he plays the character of Neil Neil the main the main dude and Yeah, that's 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 Ed's voice and he specifically lives in a little town That's north in in the north part of Texas and so that's why I call this the North Texas Neutral American accent, but it's actually just it's actually just Midwestern and then, of course, we can go up we'll north to Canada, eh? And if we add a little bit more bounce to the yeah, the I words that we're saying, we can go up north, even to Montana, you know? Go up to Montana, and have, a, have a bit, talk a bit slower, you know? Really let people know what you're about, eh? And if you add a bit more of those A's in there, you know, we can go all the way up north. Keep going up north, up to Canada, eh? And you'll find that it's a lot... It's quite similar to the, uh, it's like, I, I kind of consider it to be like a, a melding of, uh, uh, a melding of the Midwestern American accent and a bit of Irish. Because if we start adding a lot more breath onto the Irish voice, we know that we get that, we get that really nice, that nice Dublin, the Dublin Irish, yeah. Irish sort of, it's very friendly. It's a very friendly voice here. And so when you when you add that sort of that sort of bounce to your words and you add a bit more breadth to your sentences, you'll find that this is a very nice Irish accent. And it's a lot it's a lot better than the stereotypical Irish accent that you'd find that most leprechauns would have. But <laughs> find what most leprechauns would have. But what you'd actually see is that uh, most Irish people would actually sound like this. Because I know that there's someone at my workplace who's from Ireland, and he sounds a lot like a lot more like this than what you'd find in, a, like, you know, a Lucky Charms commercial or something Scottish. like that. And um, Scottish is completely different. Scottish is very different. You have to go a little bit more north, a little bit more east. You have to get back onto the mainland of the UK, and you have to add a lot more gruff and a lot more personality. Well, not necessarily personality, but a lot more of a brazen sort of like you don't care about what everyone thinks it's, about it. It's. It's something that you want to have. Uh, that it's a it's an accent that you want to start bar fight with and just tell a goddamn good story. You want to tell a goddamn good story, a goddamn good story about getting drunk and <laughs> fighting your best, like finding like finding your best friend at a bar. It's you just met him and he's knocked you out and you're like, wow, that's like the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> go there to punch, laddie. You go there to punch, laddie. That's not how you punch. You this is how you punch. punch. You. That's where you thank someone for knocking you out so you know how to do it next time. That's what the Scottish accent is. It's you very it's nice, really... very bombastic. And of you course, if really... you... Who of, uh... Oh, was it? Who of, uh... I'm just having a brain aneurysm right now. But, uh... Uh, Australian Bogan. The Australian Bogan yeah. accent, mate. Ah, oh, mate. 
Like, it right. really depends on what kind of bloody bogan accent you're looking for, right? Like, so There's I can, I can, okay, 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 okay. So if I hem up my neutral or my neutral accent, I guess the the accent that I'm mostly using, right, when I talk, um, then you go into what I would like to consult, what I, what I would like to call the uh, the, I guess the the uh, middle class bogan accent. This is like city bogan. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's the kind of, it's the kind of accent that you find at the pub, mate. Like fucking like, and you got to add those swear words in there. Fucking like, oh, that fucking shit going on that, like things like that. Um, and you can say that cause it's, in a, this is, this is Australian, right? And so those words don't actually mean what they mean. So fucking like, it's just, it's just a word you put in your sentence without putting any sort of power behind it. It's an automatic statement within the sentence. Yeah, mate. It's like, it's just, it's just something you fucking just add to fucking anywhere, to be honest. It's, it's, it's the word that you use when you're trying to think of what to say. That's, that's what, that's what, that's what fucking is. <laughs> but we're going next level bogan. I mean, now in the boonies bogan. Uh, and the boonies. You might find that people who sound a little bit more like this, uh, I, I, I don't act, like funny. Funny enough, I don't actually know what how to make the the like the real boonies. Like I don't. We're going to Bendigo, Morty. Get in the fucking car, Morty. We're going to Bendigo. Like that's that's the kind of accent you want to go for if you want to go for the, like the fucking just fucking outback fucking but dog like, bloody it's, accent right it's, there. It's like so bogan that it's very vaguely understandable at this point that it's like why am I why oh, am I I don't want to go to Bendigo Rick I've got school tomorrow get in the fucking car Morty <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. why am I why are you going to go it's barely comprehensible at the point of just you find when you go into that cause like okay so if I just talk normally this here, this is the Brisbane accent, right? Um, it's just what I what I hear all the time. It's just my normal accent, um, and this is what you'd find in like I I would consider this to be just middle class bloody city accent. This is just the city accent. This is what you'd hear in the city, um, because there's a difference between the city and the bush. Uh, yeah. The bush accent is what you'd find to be because like the city accent is actually a little bit more neutralized. Um, and it's also a l lot more American than Australian. Um, mm -hmm. the only time very... that you really hear the Australian accent is when you when you really look at, look into the vowels and of course the letter R we don't say the letter R in Australia um, especially if it's at the end of a word like raft right you know you heard raft you had that's the letter R there but cart a shopping cart we don't call it a shopping, shopping cart. cart we don't call it a car we car we call it a car you know you pay you got after you've paid for your shopping using your card, you take your shopping cart to your car <laughs> and put the shopping in your boot of your car. You know, you don't actually say the R sound um, in the in the in the Brisbane accent there. Groceries. Um, Brisbane. Groceries. And the other the other two I guess like and the way that you say your vowels is also incredibly important. E is quite similar to the American E. Like if you say feet in American, in the American accent, feet, feet. You had you have a bit more of a er uh, at the beginning. Feet, feet, feet. It's it's a slight difference, but it's not actually any that that big of a deal. Um, the other the other vowels are where it's important. Um, you have the U sound, like Luke, Ute. You, ah, oh, mate. Let's go. Let's. Oi. Um. Have you seen Luke's new Ute? It's fucking. It's fucking lit, mate. Luke's new Ute. Um. And if you try to say that in an American accent, it'd be. Have you seen Luke's new Ute? You have a little bit more of an e at the beginning of the u. Ute. Yeah. It's Ute. Like a tongue tire. Luke's new Ute. Ute. Luke's new Ute. Ute. Almost a tongue tire. It's almost a tongue tire. So the e and the u sound quite similar. But the O's, the A's, and the I's are really where the big difference are. Uh, no. Just just the word no. No. It's different to no. Yeah. I have I struggle the most with the O's. I struggle the most with the American O's. Because I always think O. Oh, and it's no. It's sorry. It's... it's um, sorry. 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 No. 
Um, it takes two to tango. It's that. It's that. It's like how, it's kind of like an O and then a U, and then maybe a little bit of an R sound hiding in there somewhere. O, O. It's really weird to think about. And then the A, we go A E A E A E mate M A E mate. Um, instead of m et met, oh, that's not right. Um, but if you were trying to be in an American accent, you say mate. Um, it's a e mate, and then Australian accent's mate. You might, like might, but it's oi mate, oi mate. Oh, take a gander at this bloody mate. <laughs> Fucking bogan. <laughs> Um, so that's the A, and then the other word, the other vowel I'm missing one is I. I is is very different. I think I think I is actually the the most different. Um, if we think of a word like time in an American accent, time, put it into Australian accent, it's time. You have an O in there, time. Oi, I said this last time. <laughs> I said this last time. Okay. Sounds like you have an A with that I. Not an O. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, time. Uh, but the American O. Because the American O sound a little bit like a bit of an ah. Uh. Americans an O. Got. If you've got something to say, just say it. Yeah. Got something to say. Got. Ah. Uh, I. I. Time. Time. Mate. I said this last time. Um, so it has that bit of American O, uh, or or a bit of an A sound in there. Yeah. Um, you might think we're out of time, but it's not correct <laughs> to think that at all. Um, yeah, and then of course there's the British way of saying things like um, take a bath, take a bath, take a bath. We say the R instead of the A ah in any situation. Class, not class. Basically, grass, not grass. Um, we're a bastardization of both English and American, actually. <laughs> um, though you find you do find words if you were to talk to an Australian, you might find words like dance instead of dance so it has it has a bit of a thing like that um, so we're not entirely and it's a little bit there but your vowels your vowels and your r sounds are the biggest points in the australian accent compared to the american accent um and then yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it how do we get onto this bloody thought conversation bloody hell uh that's a good question mags <laughs> mm? what how do we get here? What the hell happened? We spent like 20 minutes straight talking about accents between British, Scottish, Irish, American, Texan, North Eastern. I, oh, but like, I really, really respect the Irish accent. If you, if you want to know what, like, the accent I'm trying to do, you have to look at RT Game. RT Game has the best Irish accent to think about. Uh because or the best Irish accent to say because it's so it's so nice to listen to and it's so soft and smooth and like I said it's very breathy uh, you really have to essentially what I like to say is the last syllable the last stressed syllable in your sentence you want to let all of your breath out and you really want to think you really want to say like you know uh, there's a difference between breath and Brett, you know? And of course, the other thing that exists in, though that doesn't exist actually in the Irish accent is, is the letter, the, the TH conversation, that sound doesn't exist in the Irish accent. It's always Brett, you know? I'm trying to say Brett, but you don't say Brett. You, you, you say Brett, you know? You don't say Brett, you say Brett, you know? Because that's, that's, the, that's the Irish accent. And or the Irish accent, sorry. And then of course, when you've got Ireland again, you have to add that O to it. Ireland, it's Ireland. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can practice your breath when on on a word like potatoes, because you really got to you really got to add that breath to the a e sound in potatoes. It it's not it's not potatoes. It's potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. So. Yeah, that's 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 where that's what I really like about the Irish accent. Um, and one thing, one thing that I also like doing is trying to 
uh, mix accents, trying to mix accents. Like for example, the Australian accent mixed the Irish accent. Okay, so trying to add like the Australian, Australian ways of saying things to the Irish accent is a bit strange. Like imagine I've been, I've been living in Australia for I guess five years now, but I moved over when I was 13. So I spent a good proportion of my life in Ireland and I live with my Irish folks, but I've got some of the Australian accent because of what I've been listening to with everyone else. So you find that things like two becomes less two and more two, two, because you know, that's, that's just what I've picked up around the time. And I might actually pronounce the TH sound because I've heard it too many times. Um, and so when it comes down to it, that's the sort of thing that might happen when you're trying to mix the accents like the Irish accent and the Australian accent you find things like that. A nice little middle ground between the two. <laughs> and it's it's really, it's I really love trying to conceptualize things like that. Because you've got people that come over to a different country um, when they're like 40, right? If they've only been in their one country and they've only been listening to the one accent and they come over to a different country when they're 40, they're stuck, you know? If they learn a new language, it's is like, for example, if you go from... Uh, Russian accent, the Russian, very heavy Russian accent, go to America, you might start saying things like this, you know? You might not forget to use the word the in sentences because the Russian, the, because Russian accent has no use what for, accents, Russian right? accent has no use for the word the, doesn't exist in Russian accent. So if you've been living in Russia for 40 years now, you might not use the, because the does not exist in Russian accent. Like I just said there, Russian accent, not the Russian accent, it's a Russian accent. And so if you've been living in Russia for 40 years and then come over to the United States you and start learning English, even if you go to like, that sounds a bit Scottish there, even if you go to uh, England or Australia with still that heavy Russian accent, you will still learn English, but say it with that big... Yes. Russian like emphasis. Like emphasis. Yeah. Emphasis. 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 Russian emphasis. Anyway, um, so that's something I really like thinking about. Um, and yeah, that's that's all that is. Cool. All right. Um, well, I think that's it for today. To be honest, because I did the motions here. You have been here for quite a minute. I've been talking about accents for a while, and I'm kind of happy where this... I missed most of it, but yeah, I mean, I, I got off work and like, you're, you're streaming on... Wait, 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 oh, right, day ahead. Mm, mm, mm. It was like, right, you're in the future, about a whole 16 hours. 1 a.m. here, but it's probably like dinner for you there, so... Mm. On the next day. I don't know what time it is for you there, but yeah. It is 2 p.m., 2.50 p.m. Nearing dinner for you, yes. <laughs> Nearing day. dinner? It's lunchtime, mate. <laughs> uh, our dinner's around 3 to 4. That's true. Really? Is 11 to really? 3 to 4 yeah. is, a, is, lunch, is dinner? Average, average around here. Sometimes usually it's 5 or 6. Why? Like does, does the sun go down really early? or? Because No, it's just because people get off work at 4. <laughs> 3 to 4. Dinner's at 5, you know. Okay, then, okay I, I can understand dinner at 5. Because we have dinner at like 7 p.m. here. It depends on the people. Seven or eight, too. yeah. In my case, dinner is at 2 a.m. and breakfast is at noon, so... Because right. I... <laughs> <sighs> it depends on the person, really. But yeah, the average stereotypical is between 4 and 7. Mm -hmm. And then lunch is between 11 and 1. And then breakfast is just between 7... Or 6 and 9, like mm. always. Anyway, um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go because I'm a sleepy boy and I need a nap. I'm an old man and a sleepy boy. Right. And I need to... 3 p.m.? I need a nap. Yeah, it is 2 p.m. and I need a nap because I'm a sleepy boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very sleepy. And, I, and I made my bed too, and I got to sleep in it. You made your bed, you got to sleep in it. You know, that's isn't that the phrase, the saying? You made your bed, so you got to sleep in it, or something like that. Um. <laughs> I sleep in the bed, made or not, I'm tired all the same. Yeah, that's fair <laughs> enough. 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on the stream. I was glad to at least be able to answer one SFM related question. I do like answering other sorts of questions, but um, I like that this is primarily why it's called Tutorial Tuesdays is to ask questions about SFM. So thank you, Jordan Hale, um, for your question. Um, uh, yeah. 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 Is it only Tuesdays you're doing this? Yeah, Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, well, because it's Tutorial Tuesdays, you know. Um, Thursday was another one, too. Oh, no, Tutorial Thursday doesn't work, mate. <laughs> it's not tutorial, it's tutorial. Well, tutorial Thursday Thursdays. Um, <laughs> what about the... Because Saturdays are Saturdays with Steve. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it. Um, so thank you for joining me on the stream, and thank you as well to... Um, I'm just going to go online. Uh, people here before, uh, Cadet Redshirt, who had left uh, Belmont Duck. <laughs> Belmont Waltz, who's here in the chat. He's currently muted, but that's fine, because uh, he's just doing voice chat. Uh, uh, he, he's not able to voice chat at the moment, which is fine. And then we've got Film Shot, who's here. Say hi. Hello. Hello. And then we've got Maggie Hello. Moo, who is deafened, because yeah. he said before that he needed to deafen for a bit. Um, mm -hmm. I forgot why. Uh, but that's it from me. So thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. I will see you in the next one. But as for now, this is Quillman I'm signing off. Goodbye and good luck. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click end stream, and then it can actually. Uh, go, well, I've got to wait for like six seconds before people actually. Well, I think the stream ends, even though it's a six second delay, doesn't the stream end anyways? It just it doesn't catch up to them till like once you hit end, you're not gonna get like six seconds of extra.